ladies and gents, welcome to 2023. Airline is live in 4K. How are we doing? Let's see some names in the chat. Very warm welcome to the first show from Manchester Airport here on uh, two threes today, and uh, we're still on dual runway ops. And we got a two E Dreamliner waiting to cross. Hope you all enjoyed the very first show of 2023 with Mr. John Fezzer on Monday. That was great. And hello, everybody. We missed you guys. We're back here live at Manchester Airport, of course, our home. <clears throat> and uh, what a great year 2022 was. I took that song from the um, end of year review video. If you haven't seen it yet, go give it a watch. It's full of fun memories, memes, good times uh, from the 2022 here on Airliners Live, which was our first ever year completely full time on the channel for me and Martin. And uh, what a year it was. We hit some crazy milestones. In fact, at the start of 2022, we only had about, um, I'd say about 28,000 subscribers on YouTube. And, I mean, what are we on now, guys? I mean, can someone, can someone it's, give it a check? <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. But it's um, it's not come without the support of the community, and we massively thank all of you for being with us in 2022. And as we roll into 2023, uh, we hope to continue the awesome shows for you guys as well, as uh, we get our first bit of support coming in from Jeanette McKenzie with the £20 Super Chat supporting the channel today saying happy new year everyone here's to another fab year thank you very much Jeanette thank you Jeanette I appreciate it we've got a Ryanair departing and the first departure of course it's going to be a Ryanair and that's off to uh, Alicante I wonder what our first departure was in 2022 <laughs> um, oh I can't remember. I remember the stream, though, but I can't remember what the first movement was. I remember that very cold, bitter morning on the mound here at the RVP. We're wrapped up with a thousand layers, giving a speech about how this is going to be our first ever year full-time on Airliners Live. And uh, it was quite the leap because we'd only just recently gone full-time. So, you know, it was a, a scary leap we made. It was. <clears throat> It was. Me and Martin both gave up our basically careers, um, which we'd pretty much worked our whole adult life, and and um, yeah, this and obviously we have um, obligations and and bills to pay and things, and uh, yeah, with, with the support of you guys, uh, it was a leap we were able to make, and uh, you know, ever since then it's been a uh, we've we've been investing and, and improving and making changes to the channel and. And, and going into the new year, we've managed to step it up to 4K. Whoa. Yes, um, and uh, we're really looking forward to seeing what 4K brings. Obviously, it's uh, going to be something that we're going to be tweaking as we do with everything else. Yes. But uh, we've got a Dreamliner rolling on the south side. starting a uh, four and a half thousand mile flight to Montego Bay as Mr. Matt Smith, Mod Matt, Mr. Cameraman Matt, the main man Matt <laughs> with a 23 months of premium economy support saying all the best everyone, one month to go. One month to go, what's Until, he on? Are you thinking of the old task fair Mr. Matt? Or no, I think he's talking about the month that's on his uh, 
on his on his oh, membership. Oh, for his membership. Oh, okay, yeah. that makes a lot more sense. I was going to say, are you that hyped about the, uh, <laughs> the task there that you're counting down the uh, the old days there, Matt? I mean, are you not? I I thought we all were. We are, but I, I didn't know Matt was that invested. He's crossing it off on his calendar. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> and uh, Ian Finley, welcome back for 27 months. Crew seat member as well, saying morning, everyone. All the best to you for 2023. Thank you very much, Ian. Hope you're doing well. Melissa saying I haven't got my glasses on yet and it still looks insane. No way, Melissa. Nice. What are you watching on, Melissa? You're watching on a laptop, right? And and, and the thing about 4K is that, that I love is it doesn't just look better in 4K. You've also got the stops below it, so you've got 1440p. And even 1080p looks better as well because we're pushing a higher bit rate. Yeah. Um, we're on, we've got another network today, haven't we, as well? We've added on. Yeah, it's not working yet, so I'm going to be um, pottering around with that during today's show. Yep. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we've... Decided just to take on one extra network just to just to kind of give us a little bit more resilience. Um, just to, you know, it's always better to have more than what you need, isn't it, guys, in terms of, like, internet speed and stuff. So. Mm, especially when you're dealing with, like, 4G here at Manchester Airport, which historically has never been the most reliable place for a network. Um, but, yes, um, and a true story, actually, I actually need glasses myself. When it comes to driving, I'm just under the threshold of requiring them. Uh, but uh, I remember in, like, university and uh, stuff, I needed glasses to see the, the whiteboard and all that. And um, I remember getting my first pair of glasses, and it is like upgrading on YouTube. You know when you're watching in, like, let's say 360p, and then you upgrade to, like, 1080p? That's what putting glasses on is like. It's, yeah. like, it's like that upgrade of, of, uh, of, um, of resolution. And uh, MGB3010, welcome back for two months of business class membership. Welcome, dude. Thank you very much. Not on my TV bigger than 32 inch. Oh, guys, I'm, I've, I've, I've been a bit of a letdown, actually. I've not, I've not, actually, I've not actually changed my TV. You've not done it yet. No, you? I've not made the leap yet. <laughs> and Gillian Clough returning for seven months as well, saying Happy New Year. Hope 2023 is good to you. Thank you very much, Gillian. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, happy new year, everybody. We we certainly missed you guys. Um, we like to take a week off because when you're in this kind of like work where you're constantly being like creative and constantly out doing things, because obviously we don't just do live streams, be pre-recorded. We do all of our merch as well. Uh, we do a lot off stream. Uh, you, you guys know this. Um, it's important to like just take a little break every now and then, keep things fresh, and uh, also gives you t- time to work on new ideas and. And, um, yeah, it was definitely worth it. And see some loved ones. Um, huge shout-out to those who did work throughout the festive period. Of course, I know a lot of industries do. Uh, you guys are legends. Um, and, yeah, this is uh, 2023. And uh, we're super hyped. We're super, super hyped. Got so many ideas for this year. Uh, a lot of talks this month for new uh, additions to the channel, shall we say. And, um, yeah, you'll, you'll see all that soon, I guess. And Keith Clifton, thank you very much, saying uh, the first plane on the first stream for 2022 was a Tui Dreamliner. Oh, what? So we nearly had it again if we would have started no way. a couple of minutes late. Nearly had another one. No way. Brian King, gosh, do I want to go down that rabbit hole? i seen that message, but I feel like people want to hear the resolution, don't they, of, of what... God just just Christ. to, like, put a... Um, put it has a, been a massive, massive stress. I'm going to just put what, that down there. What was his question first? So people... Obviously. So the, the question was, did you get a resolution to the sofa? <laughs> I think a lot of people will probably want to hear this. So <laughs> where did I get up to? Where did you guys know? I think it was... It would have been, I assume, like... You so were, we told you they'd lost it, didn't we? I assume you were waiting on a loan sofa, I think, was the lot. Yeah, you, so... I remember you you had your phone on that last stream, didn't you? That's like, right. I was answering phone calls on the last stream, one I? And <laughs> um, to be fair, the lady who I said was decent on the phone turned out to be decent following the stream as well. And, um, yes, we've had a loan sofa over Christmas, which has been uh, fantastic. Really do appreciate that. It's green. <laughs> it's green, green, but it's comfy and 
it's better than the floor. Yeah. So, yes, we had a loan sofa over Christmas, which was great. Um, I phoned up yesterday. They still hadn't found a sofa. Apparently, it's lost in the warehouse somewhere. <laughs> um, and then, miraculously, when I asked for a refund, within an hour, guys, they found the sofa. <laughs> Can you believe it? Whoa, that's great. That, what but, are the odds? Um, but, yes, we have decided, um, following the list of bad luck with that company, that we have taken the refund anyway, even though they found it. Because, really, the sofa's been sat in the warehouse since the 7th of December, guys. So it could have been damp in there. It could have been anything, right? You just don't know. So we took the refund. Me and Mrs. Airliners live after work last night went to Ikea. Oh, did you? And uh, we've saved a fortune, and we're ordering two sofas. Uh, we're ordering, Instead of a corner sofa, we're getting a three and a two from Ikea for about a third of the price. Nice. <laughs> so... Yes, we've we've decided that sofa shopping is not for us, guys. <laughs> uh, Terry Edwards with the 179 saying condolences to Henry and his family. Yes, of course. Uh, we're keeping an eye on Henry, and um, hopefully he'll be back very, very soon. Is this A330 going to get off in front of us, or is it just going to keep rolling to the easier exit? I don't know, but Turkish Airlines A330 rolling in from Istanbul this morning. And off to the left, about to cross the Jet 2757. Good to see these again. I feel like we've not seen them for a little while. We really haven't. Alpha Bravo heading out to Tenerife. Look at this view, seeing them reverses, slowing the aircraft right down. Would this sofa company sound something like WeFS? <laughs> Ah. Well, no, they sound something like Sophology. <laughs> something who like that. have recently apparently been bought out by DFS, which if I would have known that at the time, I would have not gone anywhere near them. <laughs> I think you're in two minds about the, um, the refund, because obviously it would have just put an end to the whole saga, you know, just... Yeah, I think the reason we went for the refund in the end was that because of everything that's been going on, um, we weren't totally convinced that if, for whatever reason, the sofa kind of after a couple of months started to display issues or go faulty or anything like that, we weren't totally convinced on how we would be handled. So we just thought it's best to just start afresh, right? Just forget it and, yeah, just uh, start again, start again. I've certainly missed these, the Jet 2757s used to see these constantly throughout the shows uh, over the winter period they have kind of put a couple of them in storage and not used uh, the full fleet a couple of them still in uh, use though and we're looking forward to seeing them return to the skies here at Manchester come uh, the summer let's have a quick look at a close up shot of the Turkish Airlines A330 300 oh they own all of them now do they James yeah Maybe they should chill out, because they can't... They've lost so many sofas, they can't keep up with demand, and they've still got adverts on the TV, man. Trying to sell more of them. Yeah. Let's have a listen to this 3.30, shall we? Quality certainly, certainly looking crispy today. That's uh, A330 and from Istanbul, eight years old from 2014. Lima Oscar Charlie on the reg. Certainly do love the uh, 330s here on the channel. They are beautiful aircrafts with uh, beautiful noise as well. Pretty frequent here in Manchester as well. It's like the most common wide body you'll see up there with the Dreamliners, of course. 
And uh, Car- Carol Woods, thank you very much for the four months of membership, saying welcome back, guys. Hope you all had a fad Christmas and New Year. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing well. Mike Kay saying there's a uh, version of Atlantic A3 3300 Golf Victor Uniform Foxtrot Os- Oscar heading to Orlando. Heading nice. out to GBUFO. <clears throat> And we also had a 757 donation coming in from Mr. Tony Parkinson to celebrate the 757 on the stream. Oh, no way. Cheers, Tony. And that 757 is really getting on a bit now, guys. 34 years old. Ooh, I think Alpha Bravo, I think, is either the second or third oldest in the fleet. If Paul Davies was in the chat, I'm sure he'd, uh, he'd know the answer to that. And ladies and gents, we've just had an absolutely massive, massive bit of support coming into the channel, supporting the community. That is the best way to support the channel, guys, because not only does it support Airliners Live, it gives people in the community a taste of VIP as well. Mr. Flying Architect, with the huge 20 Airliners Live gifted memberships to the community, 20 people just receiving one month free trial of VIP business class here at Airliners Live, courtesy of the Flying Architect. Thank you very much, mate. That is a huge, huge amount of support. Thank you, dude. Thank you. That's... If you received one of those, let's get some thanks in the chat, shall we? They have gone uh, to James Watson, Beluga on PC, David Moores, Steve S, Diane uh, McMeekin, uh, MWF, Michael Dean. Trevor uh, Hyam, Jane Elizabeth, uh, Gar- Gary Barlow, <laughs> George A. I bet he gets that all the time. I'm not even going to yeah, do we- that. George A350, uh, Paul Rayson, Linda Davies, Ian Hartley, gosh, so many, bus driver, uh, Wu Wee, uh, Rebecca uh, Kenning, Michael Phillips, Peter uh, Morris Rowe, uh, Wallaby will all getting gifted memberships there from the flying architect thank you very much david are you all no longer streaming on twitch we should be live on twitch we right? should be live on twitch but are we not live on twitch if we're not i think it's mate this is what i, I said bro brother yeah <laughs> you know earlier when i said should that be saying youtube rtmp on there it's not going to restream, is uh, it? Oh, I thought you meant on... Ah, uh, right. Okay, well, rip. Oh, well. No Twitch today, then. No Twitch today. F's okay. in the chat. I mean... Yeah, that was a... That was a uh, I mean, do do we just quickly stop it and start it? I mean, it's not uh, the end of the world, is it? I'm just worried it might not come back. <laughs> Why is auto stop on? Um, I'm not sure. Let me check. Let me check, guys. Yeah, you'd have to dive into the, the settings... But let's wait until this virgin's gone out anyway. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see Melissa saying, let's see that virgin red in 4K. There she is. Beautiful. G-U-F-O. Sorry, G-V-U-F-O. Uh, and looks like she's heading off to runway one, uh, potentially the first departure of 2-3 right, or it might make the right turn there. Um, I think it'll most likely go ahead down to Julia one. Uh, and depart 2-3 right. Nice, yeah. First departure, 2-3 right. Not a bad one, is it? Certainly not. You can just about hear the howl of the 330 there as well. Uh, I'm just trying to see where the auto stop is, actually. Uh, in the press, edit. press cancel. Oh, so it's not in that window, then. No, it's, it should be there, but it, it should might... be there, but it's not there. That's that's where I thought it would be, but it's not there. So. Is it not? Uh, oh, there it is. Yeah, off. Okay, sweet. Okay. So we can do it. So let me get the details for this. And the Virgin Atlantic, like I said, will be the first departure of 2-3 right. It's going to make its way all the way down to potentially Julia 1 is what they usually do, which is the first uh, entrance to the runway um, down there by what, that white building over there is the airport pub. A um, little location where you can uh, go spotting, have a, have a beverage. And uh, Samantha. Oh, yeah. With a 5,000 super chat, same first of the year hype. Hope everyone's settled back to work and not missing a break. Too much like me. E-Z-S-A-N and T-A vibes. <laughs> Easy, son. 
<laughs> I did not get that one bit. <laughs> but thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. I'm a, I'm a little bit slow today. I'm glad Andy got it. Thank you very much. Hope you are doing well. Thank and you, Sam. Uh, Alex uh, Poulter returning for five months, saying loving the show so far. Watching this in 1440p. Yeah, so it is good that you guys have got the options of 1440p, 4K, um, 1080p at a really high bit rate. Um, it just it's just nice to be able to switch between uh, switch between the two. I'm actually really warm today. Like I said, the first show of 2022 was freezing cold. I remember like just having so many layers on and just you know trying to keep warm. But uh, this time round, I've got loads of layers on, and I'm actually kind of sweating as a result. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I just stood still as well. So I may remove some layers. You know what I mean? Well, take a take a jacket off. And Nabila, thank you very much for the four fourteen uh, four ninety nine super chat saying uh, wishing you guys good luck for uh, the year of 2023 good to see you you too as well Nabila thank you very much hope you're doing well thank and, you Nabila uh, appreciate you William uh, sending in a five pound super chat as well saying good to see you all back glad you had a comfy Christmas Martin from Bill Stewart in <laughs> Sheffield yeah so they're collecting that old sofa tomorrow and um, apparently the Ikea stuff is coming on Friday wow that's quick Apparently. Yeah. We will see. Are you going to be assembling it or? Um, it I don't it? know. I've, I've let Jen decide what she wants to do with that. I, I just, has anyone ordered a sofa from Ikea? Like, to what extent do you need to assemble it? Like, is it, do you need to get like a drill out and start drilling no everything idea. together or? I don't know. I've, I've never, I've, I've ordered their desks from Ikea. And to be fair, like, Although sometimes when you order the cheaper stuff, the quality can be a bit not great. Um, they do last. and Yeah, our desk in the office is, is great, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and, and you know, it's, it's, it's actually all right, to be fair. Because like, when, when we... Uh, oh, here we go. power of them Rolls-Royce engines is unbelievable getting that aircraft off the ground so quick Jet 2757 200 departing 23 left and that's the last departure on runway 2 for today's live show on to runway 1 we move and we got a yeah the Virgin Atlantic 330 um, down there at uh, Juliet 1 First got what looks like a Ryanair. Um, is that a Max? It's hard for me to tell. I'm sure you guys can see better than me in the 4K. I think it's an 800. Um, pushed back over there on Terminal 3. And uh, Angie H, thank you very much for the £10 super chat, saying Happy New Year to you all. Uh, Happy New 4K. Thanks for allowing me to sit on my IKEA sofa watching the stream. Nice, Angie. Hope, uh, hope it's lasted you well. Um, I mean... Jen's mum and dad have got um, a couple of IKEA sofas, and they've had them for about ten years. Wow! And said they were they were great. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm a big fan of. I think you were going to get them. The, the, are they called Poang chairs? Mate, we've had about three Poang chairs. Right. We buy them, and then we end up getting rid of them, and then we buy another one. <laughs> yeah. They're really comfy. They are really comfy, aren't they? They're the ones that look like they're going to break when you sit on them because they're like. 
They've they're kind of no, like no back, are they? no back legs. So you like yeah. sit, the first time you sit on them, you're like, oh, oh, oh. am I am I past the limit of this thing? <laughs> oh, I don't. You just oh, that's nice. That's cool. Easy, easy. Jeanette McKenzie also sending the five pound super chat saying, "All aboard the A380 train, starting an A380 train rolling." Let's have a look where that's up to. Thank we'll you, uh, get this A330 out and then decide what we're going to do about Switch. Yeah, we missed you guys. All these names that are just instantly back in the chat after our little break. Um, yeah, it's good to have you guys back. Uh, Harry's saying, I did an Ikea bed and only needed a decent screwdriver and some Allen keys. Right, yeah, it's always the Allen keys, man. They're always the, the things that, uh, that you need. Um, yeah, sometimes a screwdriver, but... Um, I don't know, like, it could be kind of therapeutic to put together Ikea furniture. Some people actually kind of enjoy it. Jen, Jen likes doing Ikea stuff. Mm, but mean, Jen likes modding Ikea stuff. I don't yeah. know if any of you guys are into that in the chat. Oh, that sounds interesting. Here we go, 3.30 rolling. Cheers, Curtis, and join the stream from Northern Ireland. Thank you. Unbelievable sound from the Virgin Atlantic A3 3300. Blasting off 2-3 right here at Manchester. <clears throat> the first departure of runway one here on the Airliners Live uh, live shows at Manchester. I can hear a little plane. Also looking at uh, Ryanair. Uh, we, over the little uh, Christmas break, had a little trip away. You guys in the VIP lounge seen... Uh, all about that. Um, we just uh, spent two nights away. And uh, we flew with Ryanair. And it was actually Sam's first ever experience flying with Ryanair. Was it? Yeah, she's never flown with them before. Uh, and the first flight we did, it was on a Max. Or <coughs> 8200, should I say. <laughs> uh, we, we noticed that uh, nowhere to be seen was the word Max on the Anywhere. flight. Yeah, it was very uh, much an 8200, you know. So, uh, you know, I, I know the Max has its has its uh, tainted name, but uh, it seems like all other airlines are okay using that name, and I don't think many people really are bothered. Uh, like, for example, my mum and her partner. Uh, her partner is a, a nervous flyer, and they booked a flight on a Max, and it wasn't until I pointed out Max, I was like, oh, you're not a bit nervous with it being a Max. And, no, um, you just you just you just added the anxiety in there for well, him. Then I thought I, threw, I thought he'd know because he's quite a wise guy, <laughs> and he's a very ner nervous flyer. And he and he goes, "Oh, what's a max?" And I'm like, "Ah, you know what? It's fine. Don't worry." <laughs> <laughs> that probably made it because you spent all night googling max after that. Yeah, then. probably. Yeah, he enjoyed it though. You should. He said, "Oh, yeah, is it a max? Yeah, yeah. It's one of the best planes going. <laughs> yeah, just, no, dead, dead nice, dead quiet." Dead, and to be fair, it was. It was actually. Really, really comfy compared to the 800, I thought. And because um, you've flown on by now a few times, yeah, right? yeah, we flew on the NG coming home as well, so it was a good comparison. Definitely preferred the Max from a passenger point of view. Although uh, mine and Sam's bottoms didn't uh, like it that much. And I think the uh, the the cliche is uh, your bottoms hurt because the touchdown. And will I say both landings were so smooth, especially yeah. coming back to Manchester. Wow, that was like probably the smoothest landing I've ever had into Manchester. Uh, fair play, I got a recording of it too. Um, but our bottoms hurt because the seats are <laughs> not the comfiest. <laughs> They're definitely not IKEA seats. Them. Brian saying, Andy, that Condor plane was different. I liked it. Brian, yeah. The, um, the Oh, look at that catching look the that. Oh, yes. Whoa, that's gorgeous. Yeah, um, the, we've seen that Condor uh, 
stripy uh, beach towel special in uh, Lanza when we visited, and it's my first ever time seeing that in the uh, in, in real life, and it was smart, ish, not really, but <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it was okay. The sun just creeping through the clouds now, lighting up these aircraft beautifully. And Martin was pointing out as well, look at that biz jet there. That's the one that we've seen that has kind of like the colour changing paint. Yeah. Based on the angle that you look at it. So it even looks red in this current light. And as it taxis past you, you notice it go from like, is it like gold to blue? I it's like gold to green, I think green, it is. Green, gold and purple, I think it changes between. How crazy is that? Weird, isn't it? I know some cars do that. You mentioned the was it TVRs that had the, the classic. Yeah, they had like the chameleon paint, didn't yeah. they? But I've never seen it on a plane. And I thought something was wrong with one of our cables the first time I saw it. <laughs> yeah, was I going to turn blue all of a sudden? Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, CRJ900 off to Stockholm. Five years old, that aircraft. It's, it's a Scandinavian. A, it's been a while since I've seen a Scandinavian CRJ. Yeah, fly. we usually see the 320s, don't we? Yeah, stranger. I remember when Lufthansa used to fly them quite often as well. It's a Manchester. A couple of different sizes of planes looking at here. We've actually got a Logan Air Embraer 145 over by the airport pub. Um, and also this, I think it's a Ryanair on 2-3 right. Yeah, it's just rolling now. Malcolm Lewis, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Gemma saying that she's waiting. Are you waiting to board the Cathay Pacific, you're saying? Oh, nice. Didn't you guys ever have a break? <laughs> hey, we just had a break. And I got cookies with a £5 super chat saying congrats on the 4K. It looks amazing with the 4K emojis in the chat. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Cheers, I got cookies. Good to see you back in the chat. I think me and her, speaking of Cathay Pacific, me and her had a, uh, um, a bit of a, a chat when we were watching the, um, that Simon Lowe stream, uh, when that Cathay Pacific had the parking brake failure. Oh, gosh. And uh, that guy, Simon, stuck around for literally about, what, seven or eight hours? Wait, I don't know how he, how he did that. <laughs> yeah, because that was a, I think that was the coldest day of the year, that. And yeah, he, we were, we were out earlier in the day, um. That was the day we went up early in the morning to take some pictures. and uh, So I was down one end of the runway taking pictures and Andy was up at the uh, threshold here getting the uh, departure shots. And um, it was minus 10. <laughs> Celsius, yeah. When we got there. And I don't think it got too much warmer throughout no, the day. No, it was like minus 8, minus 7, I think. <laughs> and how long was he out there for? Like six hours? He was, there, he was there. Seven hours? It was dark. It was pitch black. Fair play. Yeah, it was a mega stream. But fair play to the mods there because um, cause I was kind of helping out because um, there were so many questions in the chat. You know, like... Um, I had the scanner on, for example. I was listening to all the updates and just passing them on to the chat. There's so many questions, you know, people saying, like, uh, what's going on? Why? How long is it going to be? Why is that plane there? Why is the Brussels still there? Like, are the Brussels... You know, there's just constant questions. And, um, yeah, it was like a... And, and I think I was editing a video. I was editing the, the 4K footage of the... Uh, from the morning. From the morning. So I was like, you know, I might as well us in the background. Like, yeah. But yeah, fair play to moderators on, on all live aviation channels because uh, yeah, know, it's all, hard work, isn't it? They're, yeah, they're always great. <clears throat> um, just have a look at the chat real quick. Uh, 
But yeah, it'd be good. It would be good if um, Cathay Pacific's A350 was flying today. Um, we do have the Singapore pinging up, which has uh, just been pushed back by the looks of it, heading out to Houston. A350-900. And he was our ATC. <laughs> yeah, I just remember the, uh, the, the the Brussels guy getting increasingly more impatient with the situation. Oh, and... mate, like, can you imagine? Yeah. Because, I mean, what... Did he really see what he was... I don't know, like... What was stopping him? Was it just because they were saying, oh, don't worry, mate, nearly there, nearly yeah, there? Yeah, exactly. It, there was no updates was the problem. So it was like... But the I... others decided to... Um, to deboard though before the two though didn't yeah they? so what happened was yeah so just for those who don't know the Cathay Pacific A350 kind of broke down it got stuck on a taxiway there was two planes behind it that couldn't move because it got stuck behind the plane and this was a big issue because um, part of the Manchester taxiway was closed yeah it was, it was just... so it basically meant that you couldn't get around any other way could you yep it was just a series of unfortunate events and Poor Brussels Airlines and Tui got stuck behind as well. Not not to mention the poor passengers on the cafe. Yeah. But yeah, the Brussels crew especially got stuck in like a, a limbo because they were kept getting updates saying, "Yeah, we're going to look. We, we estimate another thirty minutes. Uh, we're going to keep looking. We think we know what the problem is. We think we can fix it." So they were like, "Okay, we'll just wait. We'll just wait. We'll just wait." Because disembarking the passengers means taking them all back to the gate, and then you've got to like deal with the plane and take that back. And maybe the crew might run out of hours as a result. And big it's just a mess they just want to get home right they just want to be like as soon how as long I'm... were they on the plane for i can't remember anyone in the chat remember it was like it was a good few hours though was it oh yeah man, that's my idea of hell like. <laughs> it's so rare that happens because i don't like the idea of flying because you're on the you you're in the plane and you're not getting off the plane so you get to the other side sort of thing but if you're on the plane and you're not even going you know what I mean? Imagine yeah. if you're a bit of a nervous flyer and then you just sat on the taxiway waiting for hours. Oh, yeah. and, and, and what's worse is you were just watching all the other planes take off, you know, because you were stuck and they weren't. So I remember Captain Mark was flying out that day um, and he just got off on the, um, you know, the, the, it's a Bravo 1, which is ahead of us. Yeah. Uh, got straight on and just shot off. <laughs> I wonder if that happens next time, if they are going to um, hold everyone um, just before Bravo won here. Yeah. And basically let them go through one at a time. Yeah, yeah You yeah. know, if ever that taxiway is shut again. Yeah. And just make a queue here so at least people can turn and take an intersection and get out. Yep. And Gillian Clough, thanks very much for gifting an airliner's live membership. And that's gone to Mike K. Thank you very much. Yo, Mike. Congratulations and enjoy your membership, of course. Alan said, I got an extra day in Cape Verde thanks to the cafe because the TUI was our flight home. Wow. Right, okay. That's all right for some, but some people might want to get home. <laughs> you might have work the next day or something. Yeah. That is slow, that, isn't it? What, the rotation? Yeah. Yeah. What was the reason they couldn't push them back? I don't think there was room, they said, to get a tow truck in. Yeah, there was a legit reason, of course. Otherwise, otherwise they would have pushed it back. But Yeah, obviously, like, they're not going to leave them there. But yeah. I think it was down to that. I think they couldn't get the uh, space to get the tow truck in. That was a problem. Yeah. And, and yeah, like, they would have had to, like, off-road it. But like you were saying, that would have not been good for the tow truck. Well, no, because you, you don't want like mud and stuff on wheels of a thing that's pushing an aircraft of that weight you know yeah but it was uh, was a very odd list like unfortunate thing of events wasn't it <laughs> like just how all them sort of lined up with each other like taxiway part I mean to be honest I don't I mean I guess the 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 taxiway issue didn't really cause it because at the end of the day the planes wouldn't have been able to get past anyway regardless yeah. but maybe the planes wouldn't have took that entrance into the runway if mm. if you know but maybe you don't know do you it's, yeah exactly well yeah the, the Singapore would have taken a much later one wouldn't um, entrance yeah 
And uh, SG, thank you very much for the 349 uh, super sticker. Really appreciate it. Thank you very much. And Mel gifting an airliner's live membership as well. Um, and that has gone to Euro Aviation TV. Thank Yo. you very much, Mel. Euro, Avi- Euro Aviation TV, welcome to business class. Hope you enjoy that. Thank you, Mel. Appreciate it. Good question, David. We'll answer that in a second. So apparently today as well, it's going to get pretty choppy during the live show. Oh, right. uh, in regards to the wind, I'm going to have a look at the message that Matt sent uh, in the mod chat because although the winds aren't too crazy today, as you can see, uh, and it's the same pretty much across the country, it's it's only like um, like sort of like 20 mile an hour winds uh, up and down the country. I think it's going to get quite gusty. Um, Matt, Matt was saying apparently we're going to get up to 30. Let me just check them. 32 mile an hour gusts at Manchester. Uh, really? Yeah, so let's see if that happens. We'll keep an eye on it. Because as you know, it could be quite like um, calm in terms of winds. But if you look at the windsock right now, it's kind of not consistent at all. And that's uh, gusts. And they are what kind of are really hard to deal with when landing an aircraft or flying an aircraft because um, they can be unpredictable. And, yeah. Um, you know, they, they can create uh, wind shear, which can result in sort of uh, go-arounds, and they can create just hard conditions to predict. Because if you've got a solid crosswind, you're landing into it, the, the, often it's not a big problem at all. You know, you just... No, you just point the plane in the right direction, and, yeah, you, but and if you're good to go, aren't you? If it's gusting left and right and up and down, and you know, that's where it becomes a nightmare. So we'll keep an eye on it today. But in that view there, you can just see the wind suck and... The glorious RVP Cafe, of course. Lovely jubbly. And Will P sending in a £10 super chat. Thank you very much, Will. Uh, saying morning all. Sorry I'm late. No worries at all, mate. Hope you're doing well. And uh, Nabila sending in a 4 99 super chat. Thank you very much, Nabila. Really appreciate it. <laughs> Don't shoot the messenger. Well, the messenger in this case is the weather <laughs> app because uh, they're the ones who are... You know, usually inconsistent. <laughs> and Beastie Lucy fan also sending in a two pound super chat. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. goes the British Airways shuttle service taking the aircraft back down to London Heathrow today um, but we had a question in the chat saying what are the numbers after the aircraft type so like 737-800 or so basically it's the, the number after so the 737 is kind of like the base model and then the numbers after kind of determine everything else. So a, a 600, a 700, and 800, obviously, as you get further along the line, the aircraft get a bit bigger. So even though it's still a 737, it's just a longer version of the 737. Yep. Um, and that's pretty much the same across uh, into Airbus as well. So you'll have, like, the A350-900, the A350-1000. Um, and, again, it's just... Uh, yeah, it's just bigger variations, basically. Yeah, and sometimes they might, like, uh, ch- switch it up with uh, newer generations of the aircraft as well. Um, so, obviously, if you go for an A330 uh, and you have the 200 and the 300 versions, but then the, the next gen are, like, the, well, the 800 and 900, and you think, on paper, that sounds like it's going to be, like, massive in comparison, but it's not. It's just uh, different generations and how they establish the different... Um, Variants and, and it's the same with like the Maxes as well. You know, um, you have like the 800 and then obviously the 8, uh, the, it's technically called. Uh, and the same with like the um, same with the 747s. You know, they had the was it 100, 200, 400, and then the 8. <laughs> so, 
Uh, it's just also the generation. But often, general rule is, like Martin said, it's the uh, it's the size that uh, differentiates. Because we've had a couple of different variations. Mainly, we see them on the KLM aircraft. So we'll see the shorter seven threes coming in, operating for KLM. Yeah. Yeah, John Fair's the same. I mean, when it comes to A320 and A330 and A310 or like Boeing 707 or Boeing 727, obviously they're not going to be in order of size. No. Like, uh, you know, so like a 737 isn't bigger than a 707. That's the thing. It kind of gets to the point where the rule kind of works for a little while. <laughs> yeah. And then, yeah, when you're talking between sort of models, that's when it doesn't really, uh, yeah. doesn't really carry through. Um, but uh, we've got a bit of support to catch up on. Thanks so much, everyone, for supporting the channel today. As BT Lucy fan sends in an eight-month uh, recommitment to the channel, saying happy 2023 to the awesome mods, chatters, and lurkers. Exactly. Thank you very much, BT. Hope you're doing well. And um, with the A380, of course, there's only one version of the A380. The only way it varies is the engine selection that they have. There's a couple of different options they have for engines. Um, but the actual variant stays the same. It's the A380-800. And when they designed the A380, they actually built the engines and the wings and things um, to facilitate upgrades on the size. And the 800, I believe, was going to be the smallest variant. So I think they were going to have the 900 and potentially the 1000. Um, sadly, they, they never came to fruition. I think it was big enough <laughs> as an 800 yeah. series. But, uh, man, could you imagine? <laughs> imagine <laughs> that. A380-1000. <laughs> <laughs> that'd, that'd be, be just insane wouldn't it yeah <laughs> absolutely crazy paul hughes thank you very much for the two pound super chat saying hi guys hope you're well thank you very much paul hope you're doing well as well and uh jet junkie spotter returning for seven months of support saying happy new year guys watching from my office desk that's a way to do it yo welcome back dude martin firth 22 month of crew seat membership say not long now till the gold tail can't wait to get the key ring I've ordered too. Amazing. Yeah, we uh, did some post yesterday. Um, and I know uh, we had some orders come through last night as well. So uh, we'll be doing more post uh, later today or tomorrow as well. As uh, James uh, Isherwood returns for two months of business class membership as well. Thank you very much, dude. Happy New Year to you as well. Happy New Year. Emirates has been cleared down to 4,000 feet and is inbound over the Pennines. Thank you very much, John. Cheers, Keeping John. Keeping an eye open for that. I like the reg of this. Uniform Kilo. We have launched uh, a new theme on our website, which I was working on over Christmas. So if you've not checked out the new website, um, go and have a look because we do have some new merch on there as well. Um, we've listed some leather backed key rings which we really like so it's like a metal logo um with a leather back on it really really nice key rings um the luggage tags are on there so you can get your luggage tags i'm not going to say who but someone ordered seven of them <laughs> <laughs> might, have, you, might have a lot of bags i gonna say someone's got a lot of bags <laughs> and um, we've also got the coasters back in stock as well, guys. So um, if you missed out on coasters the first time round, um, you can now get hold of those. We've got a couple of hundred of those back in stock. Look at the quality of this. Oh. Looking forward to watching this back later. And what bit rate are we at now, do you know? Fifteen and a half thousand. Oh yeah, that's that's plenty. Selling any selling any of this stuff at Tats. Uh, if there's any left, yes, I'm sure there will be some left. Yeah, I think I think I seen some questions in the chat earlier about that. So um, 25th of February guys, we'll be at the TAS memorabilia fair here at the Runway Visitor Park. Um, located inside the Concord hangar just there um, we'll have our stand set up and it will treat it as we do every year as a big community meet up so if you want to come down and meet us I believe Fez is going to be there I believe a lot of the moderators are going to be there I think Captain Mark's going to be there so if you want to meet him as well um, obviously the team will be there of course um, come down and just make a, make a day out of it really and uh, come yeah. do some spotting with the, with the community come um, 
browse the fantastic stalls that they have there, including loads of different aviation memorabilia stands. And, of course, our stand will be there if you want to support or get your merch uh, without the shipping cost or if you want to just support us in person. We might have some discounts as well for things that we're, we're basically getting rid of. Uh, come on down and get some photos with the team and with the community and things. It's just a, a really good vibe. Yeah. The last one we did was in the summer, and we had, uh, gosh, the queue for our stand-up at times was just massive, just snaked down the hangar, you know, so... Yeah, we need to speak to Tass about that this year, because I don't want to uh, <laughs> encroach on anyone else's space. So I think what they said was we were going to look at trying to find a space uh, towards um, the back side of the hangar, so we just got a little bit more room Um but we'll uh, we'll sort that out. We'll sort yeah, that it out. was really good fun last time though, and it's just it's just great like spending time with the community, you know. So Jen <laughs> says she's not going to be there this year because she's just going to be sitting on the new sofa, <laughs> <laughs> just taking full advantage. Yeah. But uh, rolling in Singapore, or rolling out rather, AC fifty nine hundred, and that's closely followed behind by an easy jet in from Jersey. Is it me, or do they all look like they're rotating a little bit slower today? Mm. I mean, that was pretty quick for uh, such a big plane. <laughs> We've got a little plane coming out as well, another aircraft on approach. <clears throat> Quite a lot going on at the moment here in Manchester. And as uh, Nabila says in the chat, make sure you hit the like button as well. That really helps us out a lot if you're watching on YouTube, of course. Um, and that's yeah. a Legacy 650 for Air Hamburg. Um, heading back down to Stansted. There's a lot going on in the picture there. You got uh, Someone's going to move that uh, bizjet out the way, it looks like. A little mini pushback truck. This oh, right. Well, then we'll keep an eye on it because you might see it change colour. Oh, yeah. It's a good shout. Got an easy jet on approach. Direct headwind today. All right. That would make sense then. Captain Mark saying um, you should auction off a date for the ladies with a feather. Hey, that's not a bad idea. Imagine how much money that would raise. I was going to say how much money we'd, we'd have to pay for them to go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm messing. <laughs> Easy jet touching down. Tango Bravo on the ridge. Classic A320. I mean, there is a bit of a headwind, but it's like so gusty. It's like it doesn't really. I don't know. It's like it's changing a lot. Loopy saying we're already at 500 likes. Mega! Thank you very much, everyone. Beautiful views. Tango Bravo on the reg that easy jet. As uh, the Logan Air lifts off for the Isle of Man. And Liam Jones sending in a £5 super chat and saying, Morning Airline is live. Glad to see you back. Here's to a successful 2023. Thank you very much, Liam. Hope you're doing well. Cheers, Liam. Appreciate it. I used to know a Liam Jones. He 
you the same guy? <laughs> I came in from Jersey, apparently, according to uh, Chester Mike, who's in the chat. Like I said, a couple of the mods. I think Chester Mike's going to be there. I think Loopy's going to be there. Matt, I believe. Um, yeah, obviously Sam will be there as well. I might be there. <laughs> right. This... Uh... I'm pottering around in the background getting this uh, new SIM card online. It's very strange. It says it's on EE, so it knows it's an EE card. Do you have to restart it? Yeah, I've restarted it, but okay. it ain't giving us any internet, interweb. What have we got coming in next? Then? Just about to uh, come in is the A380 next to land. Oh, let's record this as well, locally, 4K, but you guys watching it in 4K live here on airliners live the arrival of the king of the skies here at manchester airport you can see them gusts hitting the uh, 380 as well a few corrections required Taking its time to slow down there. But there we go, the first arrival of the King of the Skies at Manchester Airport of 2023 here on Airliners Live. And what an arrival it was. Did a great job in the end. <coughs> Silky smooth. Given the conditions, you could see it making a lot of corrections as it was flying down final approach there. And uh, taxiing out, we have a uh, Finna A321. Which will be a nice uh, nice catch. And we also have uh, the um, 2E Dreamliner for Cancun pinging up as well. Oh, nice. That was beautiful. I recorded that in 4K as well. That's the bonus of streaming in 4K, isn't it? That we can just record everything in 4k as well yes which we couldn't do before and now for the best view of the 380 as it taxis back past us also in ultra hd and yeah you can see the winds definitely are picking up here today again gusting all over the place I got a big gust of that wind when um, a 380 was just uh, touching down. You might have heard it on the stream. What a shot. Yeah, that wind's not doing some weird things today. <laughs> yes. It's like me on New Year's Eve. Yeah.
Looks like we've got a wave from the flight deck as well. Nice. That's go really quick, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It really <laughs> wants to get back. Yeah. It knows, you know. Get in quick and try and get out quick. Was there a wave there, folks? I think there might have been. <coughs> Maybe I'm seeing things. And there we go. The 380 is uh, now uh, traveling back to stand 12 here at Manchester Airport uh, at Terminal 1. It's the only stand uh, with jet bridges that could facilitate such a beast. The king, of course. Massive wingspan of the A380-800. And there you go, the personnel waiting on stand for the arrival of the King. It took a different line than usual. I do like being able to uh, zoom in on that in a higher resolution as well. Yeah. Nice amount of detail. That's great. And arriving on stand nice and quick. That was the quickest I've ever seen a 380 go from runway to stand. No traffic either, just straight in. And everyone waiting for the arrival. All rise for the king of the sky, as they say. The wind definitely pick it up now. Yeah, you can hear that on the microphone. Yeah. Like, it is really blustery, isn't it? Yeah. It's weird how it just, it's quiet and then, you know. And it goes one way to the other. So that might make things kind of interesting for the arrivals. Stick around to see what happens. And off goes the uh, Air Hamburg. It's a short flight down to London. And first, Blue Max saying the uh, A380 is their taxi to Dubai today, watching your stream in the airport terminal. <laughs> nice. Awesome. Well, uh, give us a shout when you're, uh, you're on board and you're ready to go. Yeah, keep us updated because uh, we're always <clears throat> interested to know uh, the, the status and progress of the 380 as it departs. There was rumours, Melissa, yeah, that they were bringing the um, A380 back. Uh, sorry, the uh, A350-1000 back, Virgin Atlantic, in the summer. Yes. Didn't Obviously, I, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Didn't I hear they'll be basing two here for, for both the Orlando flights? Oh, one? right. Okay, nice. It's Mark's favourite airline, this. Finnair. Air. Loves it, doesn't it? Just for the, uh, the little joke he pulls every time. <laughs> and off goes that A321. Heading to Helsinki, flight of 1,100 miles. Huge sharklets on that as well. Yeah, it's not very often we see an A321 with Finnair. Yeah. <clears throat> but yeah, it will be nice to see the uh, A350 1000s back. You don't really see them much these days. I know uh, we used to see them mostly with um, Cathay Pacific. That was kind of our regular, we could kind of guarantee on seeing one with those guys. But, um, but yeah, we've, uh, I feel like obviously Cathay Pacific have really sort of really scaled back unless we're just not catching them on the shows. Yeah, I, I think Cathay, I don't know about pre pandemic, but certainly the last two years or so, they have uh, been mostly relying on student traffic, um, taking students uh, direct to Hong Kong and back again and things. So I think a lot of their bigger movements, like September and things, yeah, uh, around then. Uh, but they still fly. They still fly. 
Um, well, let's just say they're reducing the Orlando services uh, to once a day, so maybe uh, the leisure config then. Right, that makes sense. Um, uh, but then Flying Architect saying, I've been looking at the Orlando of uh, Virgin Holidays uh, at Easter this year, and uh, VS73. 74 and then VS7576 are both showing as A350 1000s. Awesome. Yeah, that was what I heard, uh, David. They're going to have two based here. Uh, although our, our Virgin Atlantic Queen um, may be seen just the one, so uh, we shall see. Yeah, I guess keep your uh, eyes peeled on Alpha 5. If you uh, don't follow Alpha 5 on Facebook, go and have a look. Um, an awesome page which gives you all sort of insights into what's going on on Manchester and mainly sort of around um, planes that are coming and going that you don't really expect to see. So it gives you a heads up on anything special coming in if you like your pictures and stuff like that. Yeah, I know where, while I was away, um, we had a, was it a one, um, sorry, High Fly. High Fly A340. A340, yeah. But it, was, um, it wasn't really liveried up, I don't think. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I did, uh, that was on Boxing Day, wasn't it? Um, or am I thinking? No, I think it was... Oh, no, because Matt went out on Boxing Day, didn't he? Yeah, it was either Saturday or Friday, I think, that happened. I think it was Saturday, I think, Um, because I was away for it. Yeah, A340. uh, You don't see them very often either. No, they're a dying breed, of course. Um, And it's mostly like the charter airlines that still hold on to stuff like that. Um, I remember we've seen that. I think that was High Fly as well, that Spice Express one that came to Manchester. Uh, at that time, like, 2021, 20, I think that happened, that we've seen. And I actually didn't have bought a takeoff as well, because it was, it was crazy weather that day. Uh, what have we got then? we got an aircraft coming in. Let's see what it is. What's that? Oh, so there's a Ryanair pinging up on the ground. Um, and then the one on the way in is the uh, Ryanair 13-year-old 737-800 from Bratislava. So very far away, so... Not much of a detail to catch there. And an A320neo from Lufthansa following that in from Munich. Cheers, Lee. And, uh, yeah, Happy New Year to you and Happy New Year to everyone uh, who we haven't already wished. Hope you had a great time. Hope you all were very responsible. Where's Andy's picture? We're just using the single um, camera today um, just to get back into the swing of things. And then Sunday we should be using the... Uh, the multicam. Welcome in, Jason. Um, yeah, we don't use members-only chat. I'm not sure what happened there, mate. But um, apologies if I don't. I don't know what would have happened there. So we don't use member-only chat. But welcome in. I'm glad you're able to get in today. You have to be a subscriber only. Um, that's the only uh, limit we put on the chat room because it's completely free anyway to hit subscribe. So if you are watching and you're not able to chat, guys. Make sure you've hit the subscribe button so that we can uh, get that subscriber count up. It doesn't cost you anything. And uh, after about, is it about a minute or so, something like that? Yeah. You but... should be able to uh, talk in the chat. You might have to give your page a refresh, but I doubt it. Yeah, and that, doing that little uh, extra step just gets rid of all the, the spam and bots and things. Um, I'd be asking, uh, where was the last Boeing 747 in Manchester? Um, that would have been the Atlas 7-4 we had coming in, wouldn't it, when John was uh, here? Even sooner. The um, Was the Qatari sooner than that? The oh, K- the Amiri flight. Yeah. Was that November, was it? Yeah, what came, that came after, didn't it? I think so. so. Yeah. I can't remember when. I think, yeah, I think the Atlas was either August or September. I think the Qatari was like... October, November, I'm going to say. Got you. And that was a, a Dash 8 747, and the Atlas was a 400, wasn't it? Yeah, the uh, Dash 8. Man, that was a nice plane, wasn't it? It was really nice. Really glad that went out on time as well. You got a, a nice photo of it as well. Yeah, because we, we, we went down, was it like the week before or something for the... Um, was it the Vietnamese or... Uh, Vietnam uh, Dream, yeah. Dreamliner, was it, I think? Or... And that didn't materialise in the end when we were down. Obviously, it went out eventually. Um, but, yeah, the uh, the Amiri flight, we kind of thought, well, that's kind of, that's got to stick to a schedule, and it, if it's got sort of Royalty. VIP guests on board. Yeah. I don't think they'd put up with uh, 
leaving a couple of hours late, would they? No. I think I actually went out a bit early in the end, like 15 minutes early or something. Right. Ryanair 737 800, touch and down. Did you look back at that and see that inside? Yeah. That was crazy yeah. inside, mate. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that. Welcome in, Aidy. Hope you're doing well. Tuning in from Burnley. We've got that two-e dreamliner now taxiing out as well. Nice. Hype. Was that coming in, Matt, when you got it? I think we, we came down for the um, departure in the end. Yeah. yeah we did Will that. cashless be up here? That's 100%. We would prefer everyone to be cashless, to be honest. Yeah, we, um, we won't obviously have loads of change on us. Yeah, I'd really prefer... I really... I don't know if... Like, is this too much to ask to just say we're not going to deal with cash? Like, is that... Yeah, there wasn't many people last time, was there? That's what I mean. Do we just say it's just card only, guys? Like, yay or nay in the chat? Because that would make things so much easier. Yeah, car card is 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 uh, perfectly fine for us at, at the task fair. Obviously, we're not, like, a, a physical shop, so we need to do this once or... Sorry, twice a year. So, um, we... Uh, we don't obviously have like loads of cash, and I think if you really do want to pay with cash, just bring the change with you, because we can't guarantee we'll have. Well, change. yeah, we, I mean, we, if pe lots of people want to use cash, then I guess we'll have to go and sort some out. But honestly, I'd rather we just did card if if people are happy to do card. Yep, but we, keeps everything easy. Yep. But yeah, we're super excited for that. I, I love that event. Yeah, it's a good one, isn't it? Yeah. We need to get cracking on that. We do. It's yeah. going to come around pretty quick, isn't it? We've got quite a lot of stock already. It would be nice to have, like, a unique design for it. I was thinking about a mug. Um, that said, like, my New Year's resolution is 4K. <laughs> and, uh, but I think only me would buy that. <laughs> I think it would, yeah. I mean, I'd probably buy one of those. And then Airline is live underneath. <laughs> But I don't think the chat would be very impressed with that. Can it be a nicked guard? <laughs> Singapore A350 on the taxi, nice. So that's the second of uh, the two routes we have here, and uh, that's heading out to Singapore direct. And a rather mucky plane, the Lufthansa A320neo. And look at them engines, guys. You know what they are. It's a nice pair of Wookiees. Will we get the sound? We should wait and see. But yeah, a couple of wide body departures coming up as well. Right, excited for that. Take checks, no, <laughs> no. Oh, little Wookie there making an appearance. Ryanair was up so early. It was, wasn't it? Wow. Could you split the stand between meet and greet area and merch area? Uh, that, it's not a terrible idea. It's not a bad idea, but it's... Yeah. I don't know, because that kind of means then. 
we'd be taking up way more space. We'd be well. taking up way more space. We'd have to be solely reliant on mods. Yeah, yeah. That to to do the selling. I don't really want to do that. I think I I want to be involved in the selling and stuff as well. I think just so that we can help out. Yeah, but it, it, at the same time, it is nice to be able to like step away from the stand and. Have yeah. a chat with you guys. We will be doing that. Obviously, yeah, yeah, we yeah. did that last time, but yeah. um, I don't think completely separating us away from what's going on is probably the best idea. Yeah, I think the best thing is just to meet around the stand and then just yeah. kind of we'll we'll like like last time we me and Martin. I don't think we were ever like on the stand at the same time. It was always just like yeah, it was pretty hectic. Kept wasn't stepping it? away and saying hello, and especially I mean we're all we're all mates here, especially in the VIPs and. It's it's nice to see old faces, and it's also nice to meet new people who we can finally put a face to the name. So, welcome in, Annette. Hope you're doing well. Thanks for tuning in. And uh, Revkev, thank you for returning for ten months of Airliners Live membership, dude. Welcome Ke back, Kevin Henry. Said I could do crowd control with a sword emoji. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think uh, just trying to work out where we're going to be and what's the best way to do it is is going to be. Something to think about in the next couple of weeks. Yeah. We've learnt a lot from the last two, so... I mean, the first one was busy, but the last one was just... <laughs> I didn't expect that. <laughs> it was good that they made a queue amongst themselves, though, because I, yeah. I wouldn't have... I would have struggled if it was like a bar where everyone just mobs. There we go, Tui Dreamliner next to the part. Dad saying that there's only uh, six of the Valentine's Day mugs in stock. Oh, yeah. So, uh, listen, if you want to get yourself a really cheesy present for the other half, have a look at the old Valentine's Day mugs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we'll be doing Valentine's merch again, will we? <laughs> Took long enough coming up with that joke, never mind. Um, yeah, Bill, I'd definitely recommend it. I'd, I, if you're coming down to the task fair, just um, if you speak to people in the community or if you're in the VIP lounge or something like that, like arrange a little time where you all come out and go on the mound and take some pictures and chill out a little bit because um, it is going to be very, very busy in there. And um, coming out and actually enjoying the RVP, we'd definitely recommend it. Yeah, Mrs. Airlines Live. That's that's a good uh, idea. Just have two tables again, and just have one for chatty things. But yeah. last time, both tables just got engulfed with the queue, didn't it? Yeah, we need to um, we need to see if uh, we can actually add two checkouts to the system. That's the that's the thing that I need to check. There's another Singapore today. <clears throat> there is indeed. We we seem to catch this quite a lot on the midweek show. Uh, it's. Uh, they operate two services, one direct to Singapore and one that stops at Houston on the way back. So they go opposite ways around the globe. Will Air India start up at Manchester, saying, asking Rory? That is something that has been kind of semi-confirmed because it's actually on the Manchester Airport website. But apparently that's you know still not 100%. So um, we shall see. <laughs> That'll be in sort of May time, I think. Not sure what equipment they'll use. Air France next out. You can hear them blades going transonic with a buzzsaw sound. Heading back to Paris. Nice little hop over to Charles de Gaulle. A very big airport as well, of course. Samantha saying she got a uh, airliner's live notebook and pen for Christmas. Off the hubster. Ah, oh, mega. That's a great little present. 
And he got very lucky because um, there wasn't many of them in existence. But yeah, Air India are rumoured to be starting, potentially. That'd be great. There's loads of airlines that are uh, Will in, be good, won't in, it? in the likelihood to start, yeah, including uh, Thai as well, which I think Thai makes a lot of sense, and Air India here at Manchester. Yeah. Um, there was another one that was heavily speculated, and I think even got teased by play airlines. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I, don't, I can't see that happening, because here at Manchester, we've already got airlines flying to Reykjavik, like EasyJet and Iceland there. I don't know, I mean, they've, they're have still talking about it, aren't they, so... Yeah, like, I don't know. I mean, well, I mean it's, it's very cheap flights transatlantic, and I guess people want that, so... You know, what what competition do they have there here in Manchester? I mean, they've got, like, BA and... Yeah, uh, the more, the merrier for us, obviously. Uh, wanting to see some new airlines, some new liveries, keep everything fresh. Is Air Canada coming back? I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a good point, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not sure. It's a bit of I would sin- assume so, but... Yeah, <clears throat> I'm not sure. But I don't think there are... Uh, there's nothing announced yet, but maybe have a look every now and then on um, their website. JetBlue would be cool, yeah, that would be a good one. Ah, oh, that, that would make sense. Yeah. That would make sense, because they'd be going direct to, like, Boston. and. Um, that's what I mean. Like that, I feel like if they were to add any sort of heavies, definitely the US stuff would be most interesting to me anyway. Yeah, I don't think JetBlue have any heavies. I think they just use long-range, you know, 321s. Yeah, I mean, you kind of... I kind of thought Virgin Atlantic would pick up the uh, the extra there, but um, obviously they're scaling back a little bit, aren't they? So Yeah, they haven't got the uh, capacity, as I think is the problem. But, but uh, I, I do know. miss seeing American and United. Yeah. That was, uh, that was cool, because I... Uh, I've got an old account, Flickr account, and uh, there's some... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa, what was that? That was a big gust. The uh, the old Flickr account, and it had a picture of the A380 taxiing out with a United 757, I believe, in front of it. Mm, yeah. And, um, man, it was just dwarfing that plane. <laughs> Absolutely dwarfed it. A lot of birds on the grass there, you guys have seen. Yeah, they've been hanging about, haven't they, since we uh, started the show. Hiding away. Maybe it's due a cut. <laughs> yeah. But um, how good was this? Did anyone see this on, on TV? You know they did that, um, the big quiz, the big 2022 quiz, what's it called? That a big fat quiz or whatever. Quiz of the year 2022 or whatever it was. Right. And um, they had a mystery guest on there and they were like, who is this mystery guest? And why is he famous? It was Jerry. Really? Yeah. Jerry was on there. How mad is that? That is mad. And um, yeah, they had to obviously try and work out why he was on there. And obviously, because <laughs> he went viral on Twitter. Yeah, a lot of the celebrities were like sharing it and stuff, and um, <laughs> so two people, I think two of the teams didn't get it, but Jonathan Ross was like, "I know who you are. You're the guy who's doing the plane spotting at London Heathrow." I was like, "No way, man! That is nuts, isn't it? Can you imagine that, <laughs> yeah. Jonathan Ross, knowing who you are? Fair play, man. That was I was laughing. I just couldn't believe." They just come out, and then Jerry's there, and then he's like, yeah, 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 I'm Jerry from Big Jet TV. And then they played a clip of, like, the, some of the worst landings that were going on during that day. It was nuts. I was not expecting that at all. Can you imagine that? Like, just plain spotting, just being on national TV now. Like, mm. fair play to Jerry for that, because that, that, it has opened up the scope on it a lot since that went yeah. viral. That one, that one stream he did, did, like, literally... He likes to open the scope and just showed a lot of people what it's all about. Yeah. Wow, look at this though. It's getting a bit gusty now at Manchester. But it was, uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was funny because I think he was he was supposed to only give yes or no answers, but obviously they were asking him some really weird questions. <laughs> so it was like, how do you answer yes or no to that? So obviously he stopped answering yes or no. He just started answering the question, and then. Um, 
what's he called? Jimmy Carr just obviously started doing what he does and started taking the mick and that. But uh, man, it was funny. Absolutely, really weird seeing him on the like a massive. What's that like a prime time TV program? Yeah, I'll have to watch that back. That's hilarious. Plane spotting would go, but well on telly. A few people have said that, Bill. Yeah, like an actual um, TV channel for things like that. I mean, I guess it could it could work well on um, work well on like the vehicle channels, you know, like where people do car restorations and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, but I don't know how a live one would work on telly so much. I think it'd have to be like. Would it have to be pre-recorded? I don't know. No, he didn't have his hat on, no. No, he didn't have his hat on. Looked quite smart, actually. I had like, a shirt on. Uh, jeans. Yeah. I'll have to give that a watch. Yeah, watch it. <laughs> it's right at the end. Right at the end, it was. Right, next departure, we got the Singapore Airlines A350-900. Yeah, I get it, guys. He's not everyone's cup of tea, guys. But at the same time, you got to look at the bigger picture on something like that. Like, yeah, of course. Like, he's, it's, it's he's a, a plain spotting streamer, guys. Yeah, regardless if you like him or not, it's it's it's, it's not how <laughs> the it's how that has even become a thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the thing that gets you. He's like fair play. Another shuttle service coming in. We need to. Uh, Keep our eyes out here at Manchester. Obviously, um, we'll be at least doing some recordings if we get some uh, crazy weather again here at Manchester. I mean, last time we had the storm, um, me and Matt streamed it. And to be honest... Eunice. Yeah. It, we only really got wet, guys. There wasn't much in the way of moving about. Yeah, and when the crazy weather did hit, a lot of play just got diverted. Nice British Airways, A321. Not the Neo today, though. There was a Tui 737-800 uh, that did, like, three go-arounds oh, yeah. that we caught after uh, the live show finished before diverting to, like, um, like Edinburgh or something. Yeah, it was, uh, it was pretty nuts, wasn't it? Yeah, so it kind of wasn't that entertaining in the end. But it was good to catch. Uh, and the most viewed live show we've ever had happened just after that because there was another storm after it called Storm Francis and I think to this day this is, that is still the highest viewed live show we've ever done <clears throat> we got like quarter of a million views uh, yeah. what, during the live show so <laughs> how much. did that compare to the snow day I wonder I'm not sure because snow day was really popular as well wasn't it yeah when that was that wasn't before Christmas Eve was it it was like an after I think so yeah keep our eye out We've not had much snow this year, have we? We've had we had that that bit that kind of stuck around, but nothing like what uh, what we had last year. That B8 shot was looking quite uh, <laughs> a bit knackered, <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. And this uh, Jet Two A Three Twenty One heading out to Tenerife. Oh, lovely. Yeah, this A321's 15 years old. X-ray mic on the reg. You can see uh, the new nose cone has been fitted. I mean, because BA have kind of got that off-white, haven't they? The off-white colour, so it's kind of like a a dirty white colour. Mm. I wonder how BA would look just in just in like a nice nice metallic white. Yeah polar white I think it'd kind of just pop a little bit more I think so I do like the newer planes though when you have the nice shine to the blue yeah like the um, the 350s and the um, 
the Neos as well. But if you've got a couple of seconds, guys, hit that like button for us. It really does help us out a lot. It's completely free. It'll only take you a second, and uh, it just gives YouTube a nudge that uh, you're enjoying it, and they'll start sharing the feed to other people. He's J320 with the sharklets on the wing tips there. That whiskey lemur on the edge, I think. Yep. In from Amsterdam. Left uh, about an hour ago, an hour and five minutes. This wind's getting pretty uh, pretty choppy, I will say. Might have to limit what's up there, then. Yeah. My headset keeps getting blown off. <laughs> Is that what's happening? <laughs> yeah. Your headset's blowing off your head? Pretty much. It, it moves a bit, but over time it becomes... I have to readjust it, you know. Right. definitely feel this wind Alex is off to uh, La Palma from Manchester tomorrow very excited nice dude hope you have a great time yeah enjoy much nicer weather of course has anyone had an explanation of the A350 dropping its nose down during takeoff yesterday I've not seen that Kevin what channel stream that But the thing I'm looking to looking forward to most this year is um, the evening shows. Yes. The RVP summer evening shows were the highlight of 2022, I think, for me. I don't even think I spoke to you guys for the all the summer on those shows. I was just too busy taking pictures. <laughs> yeah. Lady captain on board that uh, easy jet. And the Tui Dreamliner heading off to Puerto Vallarta as Mark sends in an awesome £10 super chat saying, uh, loving the crystal clear stream, guys. Keep up the phenomenal work. Thank you very much, Mark. I'm glad it's coming through nicely to you guys. Cheers, Mark. Appreciate that. Very kind of you. Simon streamed it, did he? Okay. Had a Singapore drop in the nose. It was a bit crazy. What do you mean by dropping it? Well, that's what I want to see. Is, is he clipped it or is it... Whereabouts in his stream was it, guys? So I'm going to have a look. I want to see it now. Mate, Simon's uh, Simon's getting some catches, isn't he, at the minute? Oh, he's the guy, isn't he? He's, he's always there. He's the guy who got that um, that Tui as well, didn't he? Yeah. So this was yesterday, right? Let oh, me this, looks, this looks a bit wobbly, doesn't it? Let me scan through this guy. Have a... As we catch this, uh, what looks like a biz jet coming in in these really gusty conditions... Biz jets normally get the uh, the brunt of the wind being much smaller and lighter. Let's see if it can hold it together. Well, this wind does make the camera a lot harder to be smooth with. Thanks, Nathan. I was just browsing for that, mate. Cheers, dude. Give me a little cheeky timestamp. Nice. Let's have a look. Let's see what's what's going on. There it is. That's it lining up on the wrong way. Handled the winds really well, like a champ. A lot of corrections were made, and it's down. Smart livery on that as well. CS Lass on the ridge. Yeah, see that, guys. Wow. Do you want to... I mean, it? that... What is it? So it basically, yeah, that's weird, isn't it? That's what that Singapore did. Uh, that to me looks like um, that looks like a trim thing. That to me, I'm probably completely wrong, but what happened? The nose just started coming up really early, right? And it kind of like put its nose, kind of like didn't put it back down on the ground, but it kind of put its nose 
down a bit. I wonder if I wonder if it just had a bit of a um, like a headwind as well that came through. Yeah, because that that to me, I mean, unless the um, the pilot in command kind of just pulled back a bit too early, but I, I very much doubt that. Mm. Hey, thanks for letting us know about that, guys. That's, uh, that's really interesting, actually. The 680 uh, citation in from Sion. Let's quickly lie the tablet down. Yep. There goes the Brussels Airlines A320. Heading back to Brussels, of course. Are you live tomorrow? No, we'll be live um, for the Super Sunday show on Sunday morning at 10. Cheers, Connor. Glad you're enjoying it. I am tempted to go down and do some filming tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Morning, yeah. Do I dare take this the stream set up and do a little cheeky... A little bonus. A little bonus show, maybe. I'll think about it. You should see the size of the box that has arrived at my house full of merch. It's absolutely massive. Really? Oh, so that's all the, the kind of like backlog. That's all the backlog has arrived, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to be uh, Mr. eBay tomorrow, I think. Is Pilot Jordan coming on the show again soon? Maybe, Carl? Maybe. Possibly, yeah. It's all down to people's schedule, guys, at the end of the day. Yep. But uh, we'd like to get him on if he's if he's available. Yeah. Have you ever thought about mixing live ATC into the audio? I wish, Mark. I wish. Uh, but it's unfortunately uh, illegal in the UK. We're not allowed to do it, dude. We're not allowed to rebroadcast um, ATC. Yeah, it's a shame. Uh, it's an old, old rule. Um, I just wish there was a way that... I mean... The thing is, I'd really like to have a scanner on in the commentary position where we are so that we can hear what's going on and we can kind of get an early heads up of what's being pushed back and what's on the way out and stuff before it shows on radar. Yeah, relay the info to you guys. Yeah, which we'd be able to do, but it's just whether or not it'd bleed through into the audio. And yep. The problem is, guys, is... It's one of those things where if it did bleed into the audio, sort of 99% of people wouldn't be bothered and they'd probably actually really enjoy it. But it's just this, the small minority of people who would who would just make an issue and it's just not worth the drama, guys, to be honest, because someone would probably end up just, I don't know, reporting us to <laughs> Ofcom or something, you know. It's, yeah. it's not worth it, you know. There's, there's going to be someone who doesn't like us who's going to report us. So we just think it's best to just... Stick to it 100%, you know, stick to the rules, and that is what it is. But it would be nice, and, and like I say, especially uh, just being able to tap in for me and Andy to know what's going on, at least. Yeah, I think if we had like a like an earpiece, the problem with that is it's just like an overload of info. We're trying to talk, yeah. and then it's just constantly butting in. I can't talk when there's something going on in my ears. Usually. Yeah. But yeah, it is quite situational. Like, it's nice to hear, of course, and hear the uh, you know, the communications between ATC and the planes and them you know calling for clearance and things but um, a lot of it is just kind of the same anyway so it's not like a big loss yeah it would be nice though it would be nice I think it would just add another like you've said before like an extra layer to the audio the immersion of it yeah yeah it would be nice wouldn't it I wonder if it's something that would get updated at any point I probably think it's probably never going to get updated just because it's one of those things that's like so unimportant for yeah, people like, to spend time on like, it like, like what politician is going to stand to, to change yeah, there's that so, there's so much more important stuff going on than Airline yep. is Live not being able to play ATC because <laughs> when I went to um, Houston uh, we went to the, the space centre there and they have the um the kind of uh, on display the the lander module that they had um and you can go inside it you can see like the flight deck and things 
Um, but um, when you go in, it's got all like radio comms playing, you know, like, and it really immerses you. And I think yeah. they, they, they do it at the deck, seven four seven at Barton as well. It's like, it like it's just an, an immersion. Like even though that's not even real time ATC, it's just like it's it's fun and it's you know it just really puts you in the the zone. Hey, no worries, Mark. Anyone's got any questions in the chat, just please ask away. And if we can't answer them, I'm sure there's people in the community who can answer them as well. That's uh, what we love about airliners live is uh, just having everyone together. And could you set up a private channel that include no? No, because you, you, you're doing the same thing, bus driver, just yeah. just trying to dodge it, aren't you, at that point? We've really read into this, uh, the, the, the letters of the law and things, and sadly, it's it's very, it's quite ambiguous. It just covers, um, certainly, uh, rebroadcasting would be considered uh, illegitimate. Uh, when Henry broadcast ATC, it feels like you need an extra ear to take it in to raise it back. Yeah, I mean, you know, like, look at the people in the US as well who stream with ATC, like, uh, you know, people who stream LA. I actually really like it. I, 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 I personally don't listen to it. I don't sit there and go, oh, that's so, you know, American, so-and-so pushing back, you know. I, I just like the sound of it in the background. Yeah. And I've, I've actually genuinely thought about playing like a generic ATC behind, you know, just to fill in the, the gaps. Mate, you could, you know what you could do? But then, you could just put, you could just put Vats in <laughs> London <laughs> just over the top. You know what I mean? Just, yeah, exactly. Just, just um, some, <laughs> that actually would work. But then you just get some spicer, you know, who's, who connects to the free yeah. and just, oh, I'm on airliners live. Or, or people would listen to it and be like, hang on, what? What? <laughs> That's me. There's a, That's oh, me, yeah, that. Yeah. Or they'd be like, why is there a 747 pushing back? Like, what? Yeah. I think for me, if we, and obviously we're not, so we're just talking about wishes here, but if we were allowed to do ATC, the way I'd like to do it would be, it would be on very, very quietly. But we would bring it in for certain things. Yeah. So to highlight certain movements. So if we know there's something coming in that we're looking forward to seeing, we can like bring the ATC up and listen to them, get clearance to land. Or if we're waiting for a particular aircraft to leave to wrap up the show or whatever, we can bring it up for that. But um, that'd be great. It would be. It would be cool. But yeah, I mean, it's allowed in, in the States and stuff, but yeah, just not, not in the UK. A lot of countries it's allowed, yeah. Canada as well. Brian saying, uh, do you have any air shows coming up, uh, any shows, sorry, coming up away from Manchester? Uh, potentially up north in Scotland, Scottish air show in September from Prestwick. Yeah, so we are planning shows this year, and um, we are still in the planning phases of that. Um, so we've not got anything to announce at the moment. But we, we say we, Andy does the, the abroad shows. Because um, as I said, it, quite a few times on stream, I'm not the best flyer. I, I do try and do the UK ones. Um, but yeah, so the thing is with air shows is last time Andy was at an air show, the signal was just absolutely non-existent. <laughs> So trying to live stream from there would be really difficult, I think. But it's something we would like to try and do. We would love to do an air show. I think we could do a good job of an air show as well. I think so too. Sun Express, 737-800, just touching down in a rather windy uh, conditions here in Manchester. You could really see the corrections being made once again. I thought that was going to get off in front of us then. Yeah, and I, I look so up and it's gone past. But uh, the TUI Dreamliner is just holding short, waiting for an easy jet to depart to Belfast. That's on the runway at the moment, just waiting for the Sun Express to vacate. And that Sun Express is in from uh, Antalya. Left uh, four hours, 40 minutes ago. And Jeanette McKenzie, ladies and gents, let's get some mega bongs in the chat. We've not seen a purple donation for a while. Jeanette, thank you so much for the 50 pounds super Whoa. chat huge amount of support mega bong coming in saying uh, a little bit extra to treat yourselves you deserve it thank you so much Jeanette wow that's very very kind of you to be honest Jeanette that's probably just going to get put towards uh, the equipment we just bought for the 4k I think thank you very very much for that cheers Jeanette that's really kind of you thank uh, you so much hope you had a good Christmas and New Year 
But as we always say on Airliners Live, ladies and gents, if you can support the channel, no matter how small, it really does help. Um, so even if you can send a pound in, two pound in to the channel, it really does help, guys. So don't feel like you you, uh, you shouldn't support the channel because it's not a big amount, you know? that's It's not important, not important at all. Another aircraft coming in, another arrival. We'll focus on that, shall we? Yeah, it's another uh, ATR in from Dublin, so I assume, yeah, it's the Aer Lingus. Oh, it's uh, in the classic colours as well. It is. Classy green. And pinging up on the ground. We've got a couple of heavy departures to stick with airliners live. We've got the Aer Lingus A330 for Bridgetown, which is uh, about to be pushed back. And also the Turkish A330 heading back out to Istanbul. So a uh, few awesome departures to come on the channel, including the TUI Dreamliner, which is next out. Oh, that's cool, Brian. Um, I'll have a look into that, Brian. Mods, if we can take note of uh, what Brian's put there, we'll have a look into that. And fun flights, welcome back. Two months of membership. Cheers, dude. Big gust of wind hitting us there. ATR with no issues getting down. Beautiful Sun Express. Harvey, try not to advertise other channels starting a live stream in the chat, please, mate. If people want to go and watch, they'll go and watch, but that's not... Yeah, it's not cool, that dude. Please. Here she is, the Aer Lingus. Look at all that, like, dirt just above the gear. That's nuts. Are you live on TikTok? No. No. No, I don't think you, we can go live on TikTok because they need portrait resolution, don't they? Yeah. Another aircraft coming in as well. Oh, yeah, they are. Stacking them in armor. It's another uh, prop. This time a uh, Flyby Dash 8 in from Newquay. Lots of aircraft pinging up on the ground, so uh, lots going on. And a bit of blue sky above us for a short period. I just turned the uh, shutter speed back up as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need to find another prop. Here we go. Blurry plops engaged for this arrival and these aircraft just like the ATRs love to fly in these conditions you really hand fly them in could go live on LinkedIn what not a bad shout flying architect to be honest is that why like because we have a lot of pilots connecting with us on LinkedIn at the minute <laughs> right oh, you've seen my LinkedIn account haven't you yeah To go. be honest, I think for 2023, I really just want to focus on the YouTube and just get the YouTube popping, you know? Try and push as many people over to YouTube as we can. I wonder if Facebook supports 4K streams these days. Hmm. That'd be interesting, wouldn't it? See if it gives it a bit of a bit of an algorithm boop, uh, bump. Boop. Boop. Bit of a boop. That was a mix between a bump and a boost, wasn't it? <laughs> a bit, bit of a boop. <laughs> Love the Dash A. Can we please, Majestic, if anyone from Majestic is watching, just listen, I don't care. Just get me the Dash A in Mysore Flight Simulator. Early access. Come on. I'll fly it every day and I'll report all of my uh, mistakes back to you. Aircraft looking wonderful in 4K here. Nice, blurry props what we want to see on the channel shout out to Henry who started that trend 
Don't even know what Twitch is. Yeah, I feel bad for Twitch today. Sorry, guys. We made a mistake and pushed direct to YouTube by accident. Instead of going through uh, Restream. I mean, the viewers are great, guys. We're 1,800 viewers on YouTube. That's fantastic for a midweek show. Yeah, it's huge. A lot of you guys... Can I um, have a yay or nay in the chat? How many of you guys... And if if you retired, you don't need to do this. How many guys of you who are working are still at home at the moment? Or are you watching? If you're watching at work, put a nay. If you're watching from home because you took some extra holiday, put a yay. To so Dreamliner to Espargos next departure. Thank you, Mike. And 30 minutes out on the all-white Qatar. Ooh, all white. Yeah. Is that a One World special or is it just a... No, it was um, it was an X... Uh, ah, what was it? It's gone out of my head. Matty boy, you know. You know. You know how to rock this show. Is it like Virgin Australia? X Virgin Australia, yeah. Yeah. That's it. All white. Working from home, says Sanchez. Sanchez on tour, who isn't on tour at the minute because he's at home. <laughs> Is the gear going to go in? Working from home, working from home, watching at home whilst working. Man, a lot of people are still working from home, aren't they? Yeah, the gear's still still down on the 2E. Hot brakes, I think, usually the cause of that with the Dreamliners. I've kind of been... I know the working from home thing, obviously, since COVID is is kind of slightly controversial for some people like some people are saying everyone should be back in the office it's like bad for productivity and stuff like that but for me i've kind of seen like the other side of it because mrs airliners live used to go into work every day yeah and she works honestly like just as hard from home but she's well happier because she's not commuting in because getting her picking her up and dropping her off was a nightmare because we were going through Trafford park yeah. And she's obviously got the cats and that. And um, so she's, she gets to spend a lot more time with the cats, like, looking after them. Because our cats, are, um, they're house cats. They, we, they don't go outside because we've got a lot of busy roads around us and stuff. Um, so um, she gets to spend time with them, which is really good for them. And she just goes in one day a week to um, have, like, a catch-up with her boss and that. Mm. And then for the rest of the week, works from home. And it works really well for her. I think it should be down to, obviously, what type of business you work for. Yeah, that's it. And, again, down to personality. Because for someone like me, working from home would not be healthy for me because I'd end up getting anxious and, you know, you sat around at home too much. It's not good for you. But for someone like Jen, she's she enjoys it. Yeah, some people can do it. Some yeah. people enjoy it. Yeah, I certainly couldn't stay at home. Yeah, Jane, I mean, it depends on the individual, though, because there are going to be some people, and like me, you know, being around people, being in the office, and, and that is, is better for some people. Whereas for others, like you say, working from home may be better for them. It's, it's definitely a mixed bag, I'd say. I agree. Yeah. I think, like, previous me, like, especially younger me, would have liked working from home because it's like you kind of fly in a bit more... You don't have to travel, like you said. And I've had jobs where you have to travel for, like, you know, over an hour. Yeah, you way. used to you used to come into our place from Liverpool at one point. Yeah, so that, that was, like, maybe a year I did that. And that was, like, 45 minutes. But then with traffic, it was probably, like, over an hour each way. And it really just adds up over, you know, you've got fuel price as well. And uh, you just got the time. Um. But me now, it's like 15 minutes to get to the office. So, you know, it's, it's yeah, really... I really like have like, I think, I think where working from home doesn't work is kind of in, or maybe I'm, maybe this is just, I don't know. I don't want to say it doesn't work, but it doesn't work for us being in like a creative job where 
we're kind of working on edits, YouTube videos and stuff like that. It's good to kind of work together on that. Yep. And that's um, that's why we kind of feel like having an office for us is beneficial because we're there with each other, we're working, we're coming up with ideas. Um, and obviously we've got somewhere to store the merchandise and ship the merchandise from and stuff. So that's definitely a bonus. And for those of you that you don't know, guys, check out the little uh, video in the VIP lounge because Mr. John Fezzer now has a seat in the office. Not a, <laughs> not a physical one, but he's... Uh, He's got his place on the wall, guys. Yep. <laughs> so go and, go and check it out. Stephen Luscombe, hello to you. Hope you had a good new year, dude. Davey says the office for me is 75 to 90 minutes one way. Yeah, that's where... That's where for me... And this was what used to get to me about when I... Because I, I used... Me and Jen share a car. And I used to drive Jen into work before... I went to work and then I picked her up obviously on my way home and sometimes when Man United were playing it, it could add an hour and a half onto your day man. Jeez. so you kind of go in you're going from an eight hour working day sometimes to like getting on a nine and a half ten hour day yep. just because of the commuting and that, that was what used to, um, that really used to wind me up that. Because I, f- I kind of felt like at the time, obviously, the Airliners Live was just starting to get good. And I was really looking forward to just being able to, because I'd, I'd done events for 15 years. But I'd kind of had enough of events by that point. And for me, it was kind of like, look, that's my time now to go home, work on the channel, do some stuff. And then, then you get stuck in traffic. And you just think, all right, all this time that I want to be doing my stuff, you, you're in traffic, you know. And it's that's the thing that I think it's helped is obviously not everyone's commuting at the same time as well. I've kind of noticed a big commute at like three o'clock these days as well. Don't know if you've noticed that, Andy, but mm, yeah, a little bit. Around three o'clock, it seems to get pretty busy as well. So I don't know if people are even doing shorter days in the office, maybe. I got cookies say nine more likes to one k. Whoa. That's nice. huge. Yeah, Jen saying the travel did. Yeah, it sucked in there. You got Air Transit A321 Neo looking beautiful in the light. Nice. Hope the 4K is coming through nice and clear, guys. Let us know in the chat if you're enjoying it. This is a uh, a permanent fixture for us now, hopefully, as long as nothing unforeseen happens. Seems pretty stable. Yes, and uh, if you're watching on uh, pre-recorded, let us know in the comments yep. how you feel about the 4K as well. If it's noticeably different for you guys, or maybe you're watching uh, like myself, who only has a 1080p TV, um, then maybe you can't. No- maybe you might notice a bit of a difference, but let us know. So the Air Transit A321 Neo heading back to Toronto. Nat on the taxi out to two, three right to the part. But we've also got a wide body heading out as well. Yeah. Um, and it looks is, a bit green. Looks a bit green. It is. Looks a bit like grass to me. Uh, Lingus A330 taxiing out. There she is. The stream is stable, but the dropped frames are really annoying. Dropped frames. Are you watching on a TV vision thing? By any chance? Yeah, I'd love to know. The buffering gen is definitely going to be our internet, 100%. <laughs> Your TV didn't like the 4K, did it? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that looks gorgeous in the light. Oh my gosh. Yeah, maybe um, if one of the mods, I know uh, Fezer has quite a, a stable internet connection. Maybe a nice keyword, Andy. Yeah, I was thinking about that, you know. I will think. Guys who are watching pre-recorded, stick around. I'll drop a keyword for you guys to use in the comments. It's a uh, it's tradition. Tradition. Here on Airliners Live. And I want to do it for all the streams in 2023. Maybe you should start doing it, Fezza, if you didn't. I don't think you did. Watching on a top-of-the-range 4K monitor, I assume... I'm, what I'm trying to get at, Vision thing, is when I was watching on my TV through my Fire Stick, my Amazon Fire Stick, 
it was dropping frames because of the internet connection. Yeah. So what I'd recommend, Vision Thing, is try and drop it one down to 1440p and see um, see if see if that fixes it. Mm. Because we're super, super stable and we're at 15,500 on the upload and it's not budging. Yeah. Yeah, Fez are saying this has been stable, so... Yeah, but we'll definitely try and get to the bottom of the vision thing for you because I know, obviously, this is going to be a bit of a, a learning curve for us as well, you know, diagnosing these types of issues, and it may well be something on our end as well. Um, but I think, to be honest, because I've seen it myself as well, it's it's most likely a... Um, it's most likely more of a connection thing rather than mm. a dropped frame. Yeah, we'll see. We'll definitely watch it back ourselves as well. Um, Air Transat in the sun over there. Uh, that's followed by uh, the Air Lingus A330-300. Needs Jet A320 Neo taxiing out there as well. And somebody in the chat, I think it was Matt Smith, wrote uh, the Jet 2757 Golf Lima Sierra Alpha Echo is now on the ILS and that's um, returning from a test flight. So it should be nice and light, this aircraft, as well. Right, Vision thing saying it's definitely the encoding, because you, you work for Sky, so yeah, you've got a bit of knowledge there. Yeah. Okay, <clears throat> all right, we'll... Um, we'll look into it. If you can, next time you see it, Vision thing, because this is interesting, so next time you see it, let us know exactly when it was in the chat, what plane it was, maybe if you can record down a bit of a timestamp, and then what we'll do is when we get back... We'll watch the stream back and see if we can see it as well. Because, um, yeah, it's interesting to, to know, definitely. We'd like to keep an eye on that. I mean, I'm sure, though, mate, it's definitely going to be minor, isn't it? Is it minor? The easy jet was jerky as it went across the screen. I just don't understand how it's dumping frames at such a high such a high uh, but, uh, connection yeah. speed I, I'm sure it's got to be we'll see not many people are, are commenting on it at the moment so I'll just have to see what see what uh, see what it looks like when we watch it back but, but I appreciate the uh, yeah I appreciate up. the feedback mate yeah definitely my eyes to the skies at the moment because I'm looking out for this Jet 2757 can't quite see it yet so they're probably going to get one of these aircrafts out first. Um, maybe the Air Lingus. Was it the EasyJet taxi and out vision thing? Because I'm just... Uh, I'm just going to... Oh, you're going to clip it, Mega. Yeah, send us... Uh, send, oh, nice. us a, send us a link and I'll watch it on my phone. Because I'm interested to see it, mate. Mike K saying there's a Whiz Air A321 coming in. Um, diverted from Leeds. Nice. Never seen a Whiz Air at Manchester before. Is it? Could it be the camera autofocus changing? Possi possibly. I don't think that would look like a drop frame, though. It'd look like more of a like a pulse effect rather than. Can you pull it up on your phone, just like yeah, the stream. Yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 uh... Here we go, Air Lingus A three thirty three hundred. Depart next. I'm going to record this as well. See, the problem is I don't know if this is just my internet on my phone or not. That's the problem. I mean, it's not. if it's a drop frame, I can drop my to, like, 1080p and I should still see it. That sounded great. Wow. So, right, let's have a look on uh, radar then. Oh, Mike, you're saying it was in earlier um, and it's about to depart. Yeah, sorry, I misread your message. About to depart? Where? 
I'm going to pull up radar myself because uh, I want to see what's going on. Hey, no, it's all, no. Honestly, vision thing. It, I appreciate the feedback, mate. Don't worry at all. I, I want you to let us know because it is it is a learning curve. 4K, 100. percent There's going to be things that need to be looked at and tweaked and. Yep. Yeah, appreciate it. And I'm watching on my phone now. That Aer Lingus seemed perfect to me. Not sure if... Uh, but yeah, no, we'll look at it. We'll look at it. If you can get some stuff over to us, pal, and we'll, we'll have a look. Are you in our Discord by any chance, Vision Things? That might be a good place to to put the stuff in. But uh, oh, always have a little bit of cheeky sunshine, man. I know, I'm warming my hands up with it. My Mate, hands have gone very cold. It just cold. started coming through the window then. I was like, oh, that's nice. <laughs> the RV chat, let's have a quick five minutes. Quick nod. <laughs> Wake me up in five so next arrival we've got a Jet 2757 this is flying under the call sign um, uh, Chalex 030 Foxtrot um, it's coming in after a test flight 737-700 uh, Golf Lima Sierra Alpha Echo and it's done a test flight it's kind of taking the aircraft up uh, over the North Sea done a bit of flying round up there before taking it back down to Manchester um, the aircraft will most likely be empty in regards to passengers and things, because obviously it's a test flight. Guitar on the way in, yes, that's number three after. So we got the 7.5, then we got a Max, and then our triple. My airline's live beanie coming in clutch today, keeping me nice and warm. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm rocking the cap today. Nice. Big massive welcome to Jimmy, who's loving the show as well. Big shout out to Jimmy. Jimmy hey. Spencer, maybe. He's, uh, sorry, Spencer Johnson, so it's going to be Jimmy Johnson, is it? Who's uh, loving the stream. Yeah, thank you for everyone who tuned in today. I wasn't expecting big viewer numbers today because we've obviously... Um, been inactive for about a week on the channel. We've been uploading little uh, short clips and things. Um, shout out to John Fez for helping out with them as well across the uh, week that we've been away. Martin, you've been uploading some photos as well, haven't you, on the socials? Yeah, we've got quite a few. I mean, I need to get some more, to be honest. I need to go out and grab some more. But um, check out our social media. This year, guys, I think, and we may change this in a couple of months, but we're going to kind of strip it back a bit. I looked at the rats out on this as well. All right. See on the underside of the aircraft. See that, guys? The little turbine that's spinning? Kind of like a little windmill? That, I believe, doesn't that power the So that electrics? provides, um, yeah, it's like a backup power source. So it's like a little, little propeller underneath there. Oh. And as it's traveling, obviously, the wind blows it and it does a little, powers a little turbine that keeps everything on. It's crazy to see that out. In 4K as well. I wonder if it'll get off in front of us. Because I think, am I right in saying John will know this? Once that's out, it needs an en like an engineer to put it back in. Should I blur the, the, the props here? <laughs> 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 Come on, get off in front of us. I think it, it should, because it's... Has it gone off? Has it gone in? I can't see it with my It's eyes. behind the uh, engine now. Guys, look underneath the aircraft on us. I'll get a zoom in on I'm it. I'm going to grab my camera stand base. It's super rare to see. The RAT has uh, been deployed uh, on, as part of this test flight, which is um, for providing electric power as a backup. I can see it there. It's got like a, a hatch that's open. It stopped spinning now. Not enough airflow. You guys see it? Ah, oh, it's not ed exiting in front of us. What on earth? It's a 757. It's got like the strongest brakes ever. Oh, well, we'll see a taxi and pass us at least with a great view. Crazy, eh? Here I got, um, sorry, Barry saying uh, two big engines and a small prop. Yeah, that's it. Right, stick around for that, guys. We'll zoom in on that and get a lovely view of the, um, the RAT. Cheers, Scappy, as well. I did see your message, mate. Let me know that uh, it's all working good for you. Thank you, dude. 
Man, he must have, knew, must have known I uh, got me... Mate, he's gone all the way down to the ending. I know, maybe it's part of the test, that. Yeah, it must be, yeah. That's a rat, you know what I mean? Get your rat out. That's, that's a rat, that's right. That's right, <laughs> Mr. Boy to you. <laughs> What's next? Who knows that in the chat? Who knows what that is? No one will know. I bet, I bet you no one knows. If Twitch was live, the Twitch crew would get it. Apart from John Fezzer... I bet nobody knows what that reference is. <laughs> that's I'm right. actually curious to see it. I'm Rap Boy. That's Mr. Boy to you. That's right. This is Mr. Rap Boy, the uh, 757. But we've got a... Uh, looks like a Ryanair 737-8200 coming in. Can't get that wrong. James saying, yeah, correct. The engineer needs to put the rat back in its box. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> the rat has escaped. The rat has escaped. What they gonna do? The sun wrapping around the um, the aircraft quite nicely now. Look at this. Nice lighting on the um, Ryanair here. Yeah, he um, he put some power in, didn't he? To go. A couple of aircraft moving. Got a um, Virgin Atlantic A330 taxiing out as well as the Lufthansa <laughs> Neo. <laughs> Jen. Jen knows, yeah, you, you're cheating because you, you, you know because you live with me. I want to see if anyone else knows. Do you just walk around the house referencing that all day? Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. I got Sam doing it as well. Does Sam actually know, though? Or she does, she she only yeah. Know because I, I, of the reference? I showed her a clip, you know, from YouTube, like one of the highlights. Do you remember that clip when he was singing uh, country music? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was the best one. Yeah, no one knows. We're going to ask the Twitch crew if they know next time. This might be the plane I flew on here. Maybe. That took, took me to the Lanza the other day. Maybe. Sam would know that. God, the, the, that 7.5's taking its time. It's still not even in shot yet. Oh, well, this is going to go down well. But here you go, guys. I've left me nuts in the sun. Now my nuts are all warm. What? <laughs> oh, no. It's got warm nuts, guys. Warm nuts. A rat would definitely have that. Beautiful, sharp images there of the uh, the Max, shall we say? Some would call it vacating two three right, arriving here on the Elana's Live midweek show, Manchester Airport. Our first show back here at the airport of the year. The first live show on the channel of the year was on Monday. Triple next. Ooh. Virgin Atlantic better get a big along. I know I can't see the rat yet either. The rat is not in sight. Where's the rat? Where's the rat? We got a rat. Can we make a chin oh, No, I can't do that. We'll get the <laughs> <What? laughs> Guys, we got a rat at the airport. It's it's like not even taxiing, I think. I don't know, I can't. Oh. Spooling down. Where it, what? I, mean, I am so confused. It's the rat. still down the end, isn't it? Yeah, where's the rap? Virgin Atlantic A330, 300 next to go. We get a rat about real quick. That's <laughs> <laughs> the most <laughs> use, <laughs> unused emote ever, a rat emote. I suppose there's an emoji for it, right? Beautiful. Them wingtip vortices. Right, got time to catch the Qatar triple next in. Oh, yes. I'm going to record this as well. Sonny's got the rat emote. 
Mel has as well. Captain Mel. What's the rat? We will explain the rats after the triple, guys. Yeah, we need to find the rat first. All white body on the Qatar triple seven today. I believe this is ex Virgin Australia aircraft, I believe. Sliding past the exit there. And I can just see the rat emerging from the bushes. This windy day here at Manchester, very gusty conditions. The rat is back. That's right. What's next on approach? Oh, great shot there. Two aircraft crossing over. 757 and a 777. And there you go, there's the rat. I feel a bit rude trying to take a picture of it. <laughs> <laughs> a very rare sight indeed. 757 with the um, Ram Air turbine deployed. As part of the test flight, it's just done. I mean, it could have been a, a David was saying a genuine issue if the turbine was out. We got a nice close-up of it for you guys. There it is. Not often you see that. That's awesome. And uh, Qatar Triple looking mega as well. Yeah, the rare all white scheme. The army, the, the sprinkle. What do you guys think about this then? Is it a yay or a nay? The all white Qatar Triple Seven 300 ER. We've also got the um, tail as well, looking great. What do we think? Is it a yay or a nay? Well, it's got the Turkish Airlines A330 taxiing out as well. 
Yeah, he looks clean. Mel straight away with the knees. She's not happy. Do you prefer the uh, the uh, the grey? Turkish Airlines looking stunning in the light. Wow, that's nice. That is beautiful. Another heavy aircraft to depart Manchester during the midweek show. Love to see it. This is Austrian. I think it is. Coming in from Vienna. In the Embraer. Looks like it. Very distinct tail. Coming in next. Handling the gusts pretty well. A lot of things rattling around in the tower today. Looking beautiful, actually. Not seen this for a while. Not seen it since last year. Coming in from Vienna today. We've got another aircraft on the approach as well, so we'll swivel around and catch that in a moment. The Wizz Air has been pushed back. That's awesome. Uh, Lindsay. I'm excited to see that. <clears throat> Hopefully the sun stays out for long enough to see it in the light as well. I've never seen a Wizz Air at Manchester before. I'm not even, I can't even record the last time that's happened. If it has. What aircraft are they using? Man, that looks glorious. That looks so good. I assume the, the Wiz is going to fly straight back to Leeds. Oh, it's a 321 Neo. Yo. And I'm, I might, I think, I'm pretty sure the Wiz Airs on the 321 Neos, they use Pratt & Whitney engines, I'm pretty sure. What are we seeing? A Wiz Air at Manchester. Really? Yeah. Got diverted in from Leeds apparently earlier today. Oh, right. So nice. It's now pushing back. So I don't think I've ever seen Wiz at Manchester. Oh, sweet. I'll get a uh, get a picture of that then on Same. the taxi. I actually got my camera for once. And the light as well. Should be quite nice. Being treated today. We're catching all sorts. Got the, the Qatar special, of course. We've got the, um, the rat. <laughs> the rat on the airfield. And now a Wiz Air, which... I know it's not too much of a special plane, but here at Manchester, you don't see them. The next landing from Oslo, the Scandinavian. Brand new from July 2022. I can hear a Pratt Whitney whistle. Could that be the, the whiz? I'm not seeing... I'm not seeing it pinging up. Hmm. There you go. Getting pushed up a little bit there. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> nice smooth touchdown in the end. Looking beautiful though in the light. The Scandinavian Neo. One of our favourite liveries to see at Manchester these days. Yeah, it's an awesome uh, livery, this one, isn't it? <clears throat> Very pretty. Oh, it's stopping time. Yeah, definitely.
And there goes the reverses. Yeah, I don't see it on radar either, the, the whiz. Yeah, I'll keep an eye on that. Don't want to be missing that one. It's doing that thing again at Manchester where it's kind of like split weather, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Dark backdrop with the uh, sun on the right-hand side, so it make a nice uh, nice taxi shot, hopefully. Yeah. Depending yeah. on how the haze is, I guess. That's the other question. Yeah. It's not that too cold today. Matt's saying the whiz is on the taxi. Okay. Oh, yeah, I can see it now. Yeah, it's just pinged up. That's great. We'll definitely get a 4K recording of this as well. Can almost make a little edit out of today with all the crazy stuff we've seen. Yeah. I'm actually a fan of the Wiz livery. I actually like it. Especially on the 321 Neo. So what was the uh, reason for this, son? I think it got diverted because Leeds uh, had, um, I assume, weather issues. Oh, okay. Is it fog again or...? I'm not sure. It used to be um, the default for them would have been Doncaster back in the day. Not too far from Leeds. Obviously, we all know why they don't use Doncaster anymore. They tend to use like Liverpool or Manchester sometimes now. Leeds is not a, a stranger to diversions. As Here it comes, BRB. As Martin said, uh, fog is quite common there. But I think just adverse weather in general. It's not uncommon. It's the rude easy jet coming down. Foxtrot uniform. Grayson at the tarmac. Here at Manchester Airport, 2-3 right. Let's have a look for this whiz then, shall we? There she is. We might as well give it its own yay or nay, shall we, in the chat. What do you think about the Wiz livery, ladies and gents, on this A321 Neo? Lovely seeing it in the sun. Great conditions. Pretty windy as well at Manchester still. A lot of yays in the chat. Yeah, I love it as well. I love them colours. Blue and pink. Never flown with them though. Has anyone in the chat ever flown with Wiz? Let us know what your experience was like, because I know they're quite low cost, aren't they? Nice livery, isn't it? Yes. That sounded not too amazing. Much, uh, not too much haze either. That Turkish Airlines 330 sounded unbelievable. Flying into the blue, blue sky there. <clears throat> and wingtip forward to see it's just catching. Bit of vapour in the air. Yes, I've taken a whiz. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to assume you mean the airline. <laughs> Ryan Air 73 touching down now. Keep an eye out for the whiz departing. Prefer buzz. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, the older Wiz aircraft, um, Chester Mike, they can be so loud. They fly over my house, then. I'm not sure what engines they use. Maybe CFMs? On the classic A320s they use. Be real loud. What a difference the sun makes. Might even take my beanie off. Get a bit of sun on my head. Calm down. I'm going to do it real quick. Jinx it. Do you can turn my headset down a little bit as well? Well, the date, perfect. Oh, the sun! It's like being back at Lanza, are you? <laughs> Except I'm sweating more here because I've got so many layers on. How hot was it in Lanza? Uh, like well, mid 20s, I think. One of the days, a couple of the temperature sensors got to 30 degrees. But it was, uh, yeah, mid, maybe upper 20s. Right. The weather said it was like 22, but in reality it was more like 24, 25, maybe 6. Looks like a Norwegian 737-800 next in. Beautiful red nose. A bit late for Christmas. And then I would assume we're going to have these... The whiz going out next. Whizzing off to Leeds. It's looking on Wiz's uh, uh, website. And apparently they operate 256 A321neos and A320neo aircraft on order. Hmm. Sorry, they have 256 um, A321 and A320neo aircraft on order. Hmm. Loads. Currently has 108 A321s. They're a pretty big airline uh, in the UK. Um, ba you know, they have uh, bases at like Liverpool, Leeds, I know London, Luton, I believe. I don't know, maybe Gatwick. I don't, think, I don't know about Gatwick, but I know Luton does. This red looking so nice in the sun. And the Wizz Air is now lining up as well. We'll get a recording of that. That looks glorious. Let's sw swivel over and catch the whiz. First ever time catching this on Airlanders Live. A whiz there at Manchester Airport. Now starting its takeoff roll. Maybe briefly photo bombed by the Norwegian. Very early. Insane. Wow. Hey, up, Roy. Hope you're doing well. Are you transmitting on a short delay? Yes, there will be more of a noticeable delay when streaming in 4K, guys. Yep. Just a limitation of uh, YouTube. No biggie. 
early takeoff and massive engines. Uh, right, yeah. I'm sure they're Pratt Whitney um, 1100G engines then. When fitted on a, an empty aircraft like that, it's not going to use much. Uh, not going to use much runway. Oh, it's going to Warsaw, is it? Yeah. Nice. And uh, Malky Stoddart, thank you very much for the ten pound super chat, saying Happy New Year. Here's to a whizzy 2023. <laughs> Love it. Thank you very much, mate. And uh, we also had Alex Smith with a two pound super chat, saying Happy New Year, guys. Great to have the streams back. Cheers, dude. Thank um, you. And Mr. Bear with the five pound super chat. No message. Thank you very much, dude. That came in quite a while ago. Sorry about that. Um, and I think Fun Flights, we welcomed you back for two months as well, but in case we didn't, thank you very much for your continued VIP support. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, everyone who stuck around today. Hope you've enjoyed the show. Have you noticed FPS drops since moving to 4K? Well, we've lowered the... FPS to 25, the shutter speed. Fly pigs, 737. They always have like faded tails, these. I don't know if it's just like because they haven't been painted for a while or if it's deliberate, I don't know. I'd assume just the former. It's like 2E Dreamliner vibes. Yeah, ignore me. I don't, I don't know why I said shutter speed. But yeah, the um, the frames of uh, we've put back to 25 it is something that obviously means the slow-mo replays are going to have to be sacrificed. Oh, yeah. But, um, I mean, we still get 4K replays anyway. Yeah. And we can slow them down. It's just going to be a bit choppy. Yeah. Nine years old. This Pegasus seven three seven eight hundred. It's not that old. This aircraft. No, it just looks tired, doesn't it? Yeah. Saudi eight minutes out. Thanks, Matt. Nice. This is standard steam for them today. And our next arrival on a bit of a longer final is the uh, KLM service in from Amsterdam, 737-800. Probably be landing on the hour hour mark just about 54 minutes into the flight now 55 yeah um, I've got a, a term we can use for uh, for our pre-recorded viewers yeah what about rat on the runway okay <laughs> okay yeah so guys who or are... you could just go rat and a whiz yeah go on rat and a whiz that's a nice one actually there you go. If you're still watching pre-recorded, ladies and gentlemen, not if you're watching now. If you're watching, this, our comment section is going to be so weird. <laughs> right if you want to comment, if you're watching pre-recorded and you've got it to this far without switching off, type rat and a whiz in the comments. <laughs> Can we say a rat and a whiz? In Can the we chat? get a rat and a whiz? <laughs> Feel free to put it in the live chat if you want, but this is mainly for those watching pre-recorded. Rat and a whiz. Market research, guys. This, that's what that is. <laughs> yes. Starting the year with a rat and a whiz. Yep. Ratty runway. What the heck? <laughs> <laughs> rat and a whiz. I like that. I think these keywords are going to get more and more difficult as time goes on. Yeah. We Well, we ended last year with Santa's sack. Yeah. And then, obviously, we had, like, brown sauce, red sauce... Forget the other one. 
don't know. It's like sweet chili sauce or th- something like that. If you made it this far, well done. Yeah. People are still watching live as well, so hats off to you guys. Appreciate it, everyone. Rats off to you guys. <laughs> We've got a KLM Gosh. 737 coming in next. Looks glorious in the light. That nose. The wind hey, is, Paul, thank you, dude. The wind has calmed down today as well. A little bit. Still pretty gusty, though. Mr. Paul sending in a 449 Super Chat saying good to have you back. Chaps looking good, the stream that is. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cheers, Paul. Hope you're doing well, mate. Yeah, you can't see us. So. Yeah, we've got a bit of work to uh, get that PC working. So that's probably not going to be back until next week, midweek show, probably. Because as you remember, the end of last year it was causing a few problems. So we've stripped everything back to basics. We had our first day back in the office yesterday as well, following the um, bank holiday Monday. And um, it was nice to be back in. Um, like Martin said, we have loads of new merch to ship and uh, loads of new merch on sale, including the the key rings and the luggage tags, uh, as well as coasters are back in stock, loads of them. Uh, I know you guys have really been asking for them, the, um, the uh, PVC uh, drinks coasters with the logo. They look fantastic. Go and have a look. Shop.airlineslive.com. Great to be back in the office as well. Uh, we had um, obviously a little break for Christmas. Um, I was really business uh, busy for Christmas. Wow. Um, obviously, I said uh, I spent New Year's over in Lanzarote, which is the first time I've ever done something like that, and that was fantastic. That was awesome. It was just nice weather, and New Year's Eve was pretty messy, but uh, it was just really good vibes. Like a lot of people out in the streets, just like a load of fireworks. They do this thing in um, where I was, Puerto de Carmen, where they um, send fireworks off on the beach. So what they did, I think there was like three or four different areas where they were launching fireworks from uh, up and down the beach. It was really cool. Like They closed the beach off and everyone was on the, the walkway watching. And it was really nice. It went on for like an hour and a half, the whole process. So up and down the beach, different locations, setting off fireworks, different times. And it ended with one, <clears throat> which was right uh, in the centre of Puerto de Carmen. Uh, one big firework display. And it was really nice. We did a lot of plane spotting while we were there as well. As you know, Arecibo Airport is awesome for spotting. It's one of my favourite across uh, Europe. Here on Airliners Live, we really value nice views and sounds, and it's something that we are very accustomed to here at Manchester Airport so it was a uh, yeah it's, it's always nice visiting a place like that where said views and said sounds are great we won. we're going to get the 21 out and then uh, Saudi next to uh, next to land awesome my plan is also to bring you guys a live show from Lanza uh, in the coming months as well That would be uh, a good uh, thing to bring you guys. Yeah. The last one we did was ridiculously windy. What was it, 33 knot gusts when we were there? It was while we were doing the live show. And surprisingly, we've seen no um, go-arounds. Even though I've seen a go-around when I was there the other day. <laughs> and it wasn't yeah, even it was, that windy. Uh... But it's position, I guess it's kind of prone to that. Yeah. We did stick around a bit longer uh, on Saturday to wait. Oh, no, it was on Friday to wait for the um, the departure of the Blue Stripey Condor A321. Oh, they hold the plane, yeah? They, they, they held it longer than we wanted. 
<laughs> Did they? We, well, that was the last plane. We were waiting for it, and it was like over an hour late. We just stood there, like, with not really much going on. Come on, guys. <laughs> oh, right. So it arrived late. Or did, and it then... departed late, yeah. <clears throat> Which is not really like Condor. Ask Jordan Webb how windy it was. Yeah, yeah, we were on the um, the aircraft when it was that windy, and I think Fez has uploaded a clip to our uh, YouTube and things. The, the the landing was not smooth. <laughs> it was it was very very very. Funnily enough, that's how we kind of got talking to Jordan. Wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, Jordan was. Uh, I I believe he wasn't at the controls. He says he wasn't at the controls. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, I mean, it's a bit strange that he messaged us to say look guys I wasn't at the controls just saying <laughs> yeah right British Airways is, is departing but we'll stick with the Saudi which is now visual coming into Manchester Airport the Saudi Dreamliner coming in from Jeddah today and the uh, Flyby Dash 8 just started its single engine taxi out as well there she is Saudi Dreamliner left six hours 25 minutes ago from Jeddah. That's one thing I do love about 4K is you can do these kind of shots where you get nice wide and you can still see loads of detail yeah. on the aircraft. Zoom in to the Saudi. Yes, yeah, so what do you folks think about that? I might do a little stream tomorrow morning. It won't even be that long, but I do want to get down and do some filming. Um... It will be pretty impromptu. It'll be pretty early as well. I don't know what you think. I mean, chat's going to want to stream, aren't they? Uh, but who would actually watch it, though? I mean, it'll be probably starting at about 8 or 9 a.m. Just to catch some early morning departures from runway 2, basically. And now that we stream in 4K, I can record in 4K as well. There she is, the Saudi Dreamliner, arriving at Manchester, like Martin said before. So we've got the Flyby-8 on the taxi out too. Let's take a little intersection there. Heading out to Belfast. Let's blur them prop, shall we? You can see both engines are now up and running. Oops. I start work at 7.30, so count me in. <laughs> Sounds good. View of the Saudi Dreamliner here. Still crazy how short the days are as well. This, uh, Close to midday, the sun's still so low.
Brian saying I'll be up at 5am for the stream tomorrow. Getting my body clock used to the early flight on a Friday morning. All right. Well, I hope you have a good flight, dude. We had quite an early flight on um, going to Lanza. It was like the uh, 6.40 in the morning, I think it was. So we got to the airport at about half four. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Obviously had a sleep on the plane, which was nice. Required. Some people prefer the early morning flights. What do you guys in the chat think? Would you prefer to fly nice and early in the morning? Means you get like potentially a, a bit more time away. You're not wasting time really. Like we arrived at like half ten in the morning or something. So we had like the whole day still to go. But isn't there some places where you'll you can't check in now? You can't check in. You know, like at your hotel and stuff. Well, yeah, like we had obviously not till three p.m. But we were at you know you want to be out there. You, know, you kind of we wanted we were at the airport spotting all day and. We went to the beach and went shopping. Nice. And we didn't actually get back to the hotel till it must have been like six PM or something when it was sort of going dark and then we sat on the balcony and just watched the sun go down. It was nice. And then we went back and ordered food and then went straight to sleep. That's uh, Jet Two arriving from Palma, the Mallorca. And uh we've still got the uh Sun Express pinging up that's been there for a while. Oh really? But uh, next to landing from uh, Innsbruck is the uh, EasyJet A320 Neo. I would love to see an EasyJet A321. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where we? There's speculation that we might be getting them here at Manchester. Yeah, there is, yeah. I'm uh, keeping my fingers crossed on that. Yeah, they're quite nice. Lucky to see one when I was at Lanzer actually coming in from, I think, Stansted or Gatwick. <laughs> It's about the little ones saying I prefer. I don't like the flying in the dark. Yeah, I mean, flying in the dark can have its pros and cons, right? Like, I do like it when they dim the cabin lights and it's it's cosy and you can have a little snooze. But on the flip side, then you've kind of got no view. <laughs> yeah. And it can be disorientating flying in the dark for your old, the old jet lag and that. Acorn Plane Spotting, thank you very much for the 899 super chat. You've been doing videos at Belfast, nice dude. And you saw the uh, plane taking off was for Belfast as well. Welcome to the channel, thank you very much for supporting the channel as well. Welcome. Really appreciate that. Yeah, Hope we have... you got some good videos in uh, in Belfast. Yeah, we have quite a lot of airlines flying to Belfast. I think Ryanair are going to start flying to Belfast too. I'm not sure if that's from Manchester, but yeah, it's going to be uh, a lot of competition over there. Big welcome to Chris Marriott as well, saying afternoon, lovely quality guys. You spotted the wave too, afternoon Fezza from Chris. I'll be doing well, mate. Hotel Charlie on this EasyJet A320 Neo coming in. Big flare on the touchdown as well. And Acorn with another donation, sending a 449 Steve chat saying, I hope you're well. Here's another donation. Thank you very much, mate. Thank you. That's really kind of you. Appreciate it. I do like the Neo livery with EasyJet. I think it works really well. Yeah, it's smart, isn't it? Nice bit of extra detail. noise that change in uh, tone there guys you heard the brake fans coming on yeah it was really uh, audible so they'll be activated uh, I don't I'm sure John will know the exact temperature but 
Um, just to cool the brakes down after arriving. Mm. Yeah, I think the, the worst with flying is if you fly late in the evening because you kind of just wasted a whole day, like, just traveling. Like, if you're, uh, like, Beastie, just saying there, prefer flying at, like, 7 a.m. It's a Heraklion. Uh, you get there about noon. Because um, that's, like, a nice, you can get there, you can have some food, you can chill a bit, and then you get your hotel, and you got the the whole evening. Whereas in, like, you know, if you fly in, in in the evening or afternoon, it's like you get there late and it's just straight to bed. It's like you just kind of, it's kind of a whole day wasted. I know it's a lot more chill, but for me, you know, you want to maximise the amount of time you can, you can, uh, you can be abroad. And they can't send in uh, another four forty nine. Thank you very much. She's saying Ryan Aero Base Four aircraft at Belfast, uh, operating about a hundred flights a week. Nice. <laughs> my dad, <laughs> my dad must be watching the stream. Oh yeah, <laughs> he just messaged me say, saying, "Let me know when you go in Lanzarote. I might go with." He's <laughs> 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 worth, worth an asking it. <laughs> yeah, it'll probably be in March. I'm thinking of going. If you're watching, do you know Fez is going? <laughs> um, yeah, I don't think he knows that Fez is going yet. Maybe I'll change his mind. I don't know if he's met Fezzer. No, he was uh, at that barbecue, wasn't he? And then yeah, we've got the task fair. That's the yet. only time I've seen him. I'll have to get him to the task fair. There you go, guys. Come to the task fair. You might meet my dad. <laughs> Is your dad going to go? I don't know. He, he, no he hasn't been to one of them, has he? No. I feel like he should because he's you know he's quite he's quite involved with the. Uh, See if he can uh, find any more gift subs on any of the stands. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An acorn, dude. You don't have to donate to send a message, man. Thank you very much. You can you can type your message in the chat. Thank you very much, though. Really appreciate it. Yeah, we we do appreciate it. Um, saying uh, Lufthansa are coming to Belfast City in April. We'll operate four flights a week to Frankfurt. It's nice that they're expanding it, dude. Especially if that's kind of like your local airport. Fez is saying he hasn't met any of the dads. Oh. No. We'll have to get we'll have to get all the dads at, at uh, the task fair. Yeah. Dad stand. <laughs> meet the dads of Airliners Live. So there's a uh, busy jet next to Lang, which isn't showing any info for me. Mm. But it wasn't your dad who had the um, the pork pie idea. Yeah, yeah, that still needs to be done at some point soon, doesn't it? Yeah. Ooh, lovely grease of a touchdown there from the BizJet. Um, so the Emirates A380 should be scheduled to go out in about five minutes' time. Will that happen? We'll find out. Doesn't look like it's going to happen to me. <laughs> Are you sure? Well, <laughs> judging by the fact they're still <laughs> loading it. <laughs> no. Is this that biz jet coming back in? It is, isn't it? Oh, yeah. It's a, it's the, it's Here we go. The flip paint. Shapeshifter. Colour shifter. Yes. Here he is. Watch. If you've not seen this before, guys, what? watch the uh, stripes like ready orange at the moment. You're going to change colour and no, it's not our dodgy HDMI cable. <laughs> if I turn blue though, then that is our fault. Yeah. Yeah, so watch them coloured stripes on the body there, just below the windows. And see them change colour live. In 4K. <laughs> yes. Oh, massive bumblebee and he crashed into the tower. Oh. Yellow. To red. Like red. Oh. oh. It is. In 4K as well. Does the tail do it as well? Let's get that in shot. 
Seems that's not like it. The tail seems like it's staying the same. It's kind of going like, mate, purple. Imagine if you parked that plane in Tesco's car park. You wouldn't know which car was yours. <laughs> Keep changing colour. <laughs> oh, it has changed. Look, the tail's changed now to red. Mind blown. That is a cool livery, that, isn't it? If that doesn't deserve a like button press, I don't know what does. Okay. <laughs> it didn't do green this time. I think it kind of is now going greeny. And off goes the flight to JFK, the A321neo from uh, Aer Lingus. Quite a new, uh, a new route introduced a few months back. A lot of people are impressed in the chat with that. <laughs> yeah, we've seen that before as well, I think maybe twice. Yeah, we've seen it a few times, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah, so A380 update. Um, they're still loading it. Sun Express in the sun, though. I mean, I can't even see any anything that looks done. Um, yeah, we're not going to wait forever for the A380, guys. I think we're going to have to learn that the A380 is just going to be one of those planes. It's either going to go on time or it's going to go really late. <laughs> yeah. So you can see, I mean, the, the cargo ramps still attached there on the, the right. Um, the catering truck's done, actually, so give them that. Um, but then if you look on the left of the aircraft, the two jet bridges which load the passengers in. Still connected. Still connected. Um, no uh, de-ice needed today, though, so that is a bonus because that would take quite a while on top of of the loading Chris says not my fault we got in early you did you did have a word Chris airliners live said <laughs> I'm joking. you did a great job though you, you you flew past us and like I said it was probably the quickest I've ever seen a 380 taxi taxi from from runway to stand no messing about. Did you uh, did you land it today, Chris? Because uh, must have made me a little bit of a little bit of a greaser. It was a greaser. And it looked it looked choppy as well. Yeah, great job on the old touchdown. And Acorn with the eight ninety nine super chat. Thank you very much, dude. Saying so since twenty twenty one, Belfast City's flights have increased to two hundred percent. Whoa! Uh, it's only going to get more busy as more airlines um, are starting to take potential of the airport's growing popularity. Nice. Hey. It's always good news when you hear uh, aviation on the up, isn't it? Great stuff. And you've got Flybe back there at Belfast Harbour, or Belfast City, whatever you want to call it. And then you've got, like, the International, which I believe a lot of EasyJet. Hey, look, Chris. Chris taking... Uh, Chris taking the... Um, credit. The credit there. I bet you if I said, oh, you slammed that, didn't you? Oh, it wasn't me, mate. <laughs> not me. <laughs> I wasn't the pilot in control. Yeah, yeah. I just joked you, mate. You slammed it, didn't you? Because I saw it. <laughs> I, I just tried to trick you there, you know. <laughs> nice one, mate. No, it did look a bit bit breezy, didn't it? Yeah. Definitely uh, giving it the breeze. Yep. And we shall see if, uh, if we catch the departure as well. That'd be nice. Great to have you with us in the chat, Chris. Really appreciate it, mate. Thanks for stopping in. Whiskey Bravo on the reg of this easy jet. I wish there was like, you know, in in Twitch, where you can give out like VIP status. Yeah, I don't mean paying VIP guys. There's a thing on Twitch where you can regular in it, it's called. You can assign someone to be a VIP, which means like certain people in the community they stand out I wish there was something like that you could do on YouTube so that any of the pilots who come in they get like a, a status so we know who it is yeah that's a good one usually if we if we if we have them on regularly we just we just mod them mod them yeah like yeah. With, with Jordan uh, Captain Mark got the Sun Express 737 taxiing out I think it's just an 800 an NG um, heading out next that's in the sun looks beautiful uh, and that's going to depart two, three right, and we've also got an aircraft on approach, not too far behind. I'll well, say that it is pretty far. That looks—is that a max, or is it an eight two hundred? It's the real question. 
I will say though the the, the Max A two hundred whatever. It's the you know, standard. Though. You know how we um, say like they they look like they kind of handle wind better, turbulence. I you feel it on board. It feels like bigger. If that makes sense, like it feels like it's got more like energy behind hitting the the gusts and things. Right. So and you actually get that. Yeah. sensation is like it, it just feels like I said heavier I think is the main one I don't know if it actually is heavier uh, apparently that is a byproduct of having the engines mounted further forward on the Maxes that makes them a little bit more stable in the air when it comes to like turbulence So that the pressurization on that aircraft was good, but we actually compared it to the 757. We thought the 75 was better. I, right. thought, I thought it would have been like really like good on the Max, but no. Yeah, it looks like a Ryanair. So it was about a four hour flight, wasn't it? Yeah, coming back though, we had a massive tailwind. Uh, nice. We almost went um, supersonic. Supersonic, yeah, we actually almost did. Um, and um, it, it went from a, over a four-hour flight to a three and a half. <laughs> Imagine that. You're a sonic boom and you look up, you see a right in there. <laughs> 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 oh, what was that? <laughs> like banking on the side, doing a high-speed manoeuvre. Oh, <laughs> right oh, my days. <laughs> yeah, I think we were on the limit. I, I actually took a screenshot. I'll get the uh, speed up. So, I mean... You know more than me how how fast is fast for an airline. You tell me how fast it is. This Ryan uh, touchdown from Mercia. Oh, this is the aircraft. This is the one we flew on. GSI. Yeah. Coming back in. Yeah, this is the one that went almost supersonic. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, I can't believe that. I'm going to pull up a uh, screen grab. Um, there it is. Here we go. Um, okay, I've got it. I'll read it out after this is out the way. This is actually the aircraft as well. EIGSI. Oh, look at that. Zoom out, and they grab that. Oh, look at that, and it catches the sun there. Oh. Gorgeous. So we went in knots, peaked at about 558 knots ground speed. So, mate, that's a long way off supersonic. Is it? Yeah, it's supersonic, it's like 700 50 miles an hour. Is it? Oh, wait, maybe I'll... Maybe I'll not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I, I... Yeah, you're saying miles an hour. Yeah, but knots and miles per hour aren't... They're not that far, are they, really? I don't know. What, what's it in knots, then? There's supersonic. 651. Ah, uh, OK, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> oh, yeah, like supersonic, me, mate. Me, Ryan. <laughs> Selling everyone. We were nearly there. We were just a couple of hundred <laughs> miles an hour off. <laughs> Listen, it was still fast, OK? We did that journey in... Um... Listen, you want to see Supersonic? Watch me and John Fesby in DCS. Unless oh, we, yeah. Unless we're in the Apache. <laughs> Thanks to everyone who did tune in to that little DCS stream we did over Christmas. I think there's about 80 of us in there all having a good laugh. Yeah. Appreciate it, guys. It was good, that. We may do more here and there, but it's something me and John just do in our spare time, to be honest, so... It's one of them where if we feel like streaming it, we'll give it a cheeky stream. I want to see more of that. Yeah, Mac 1's 666 knots. Okay. But yeah, we got, we did the whole journey in like three and a half hours, as opposed to like over four, whatever it takes. I think it's like four hour ten, I think, scheduled. So, yeah, it, it made... And the, the aircraft was actually quite late coming in because they had the headwind coming down. So they were pretty late coming in, and then they had the tailwind going home. And um, also, uh, we travelled home during the border force strikes, 
So I was actually really nervous about that because you know, you know the the, the immigration queues at Manchester can be quite big, and plus the fact that it was New Year's, plus the fact that they were on strike at the time, we were low key kind of nervous. We were like, Mate, we're going to be waiting for hours. No joke, it was probably the quickest I've ever gotten through <laughs> through immigration. Really? Um, just the e-gates were, like, in use as well, and they still had a lot of staff on, to be fair. Like, it didn't seem like that short of staff. And there was a fair bit of a queue, but we were we were through in, like, I don't know, 20 minutes, maybe? I'm just Googling here to see what the max speed of a 737 is. Oh, yeah. Well, that's the thing. You've got, like, airspeed, haven't you? Which is uh, obviously going to be a lot less. But when you've got the tailwind... That's interesting, man. I never knew the uh, these. So there's actually a max wind speed for taxiing as well. Wind speed? Oh, right, yeah. okay. So if it's above 65 knots... Wow. It's saying they can't taxi. Really? That's interesting, isn't it? <laughs> Robert Hughes... That's a good question, because I actually asked that as well. Saying, is there a Ryanair called E-I-E-I-O? Yeah, we and did ask that. We, we've, we've looked at that, and I think it was a Piper that had that reg, and it's no longer. Um, oh. it's, it doesn't exist anymore. So I think that reg is available. Back 0.8. Right, okay. The army doing a great job standing in. Is that what it was, Fire and Architect? I didn't see anyone in, like, military uniform. Like, they, they just had the uh, the Border Force uniforms. So. Yeah, no, so the, the army were, were doing some border stuff. I heard yeah. it on the news. Yeah, I heard that as well, and I thought that was... I mean, it just felt like any normal day, to be honest. I thought it would have been... We, we were thinking there'd be, like, more steps, maybe. Maybe they're doing more checks as a result. Um, you know, but it was fine. It was just... I doubt they'd be taxiing at 65 knots, I thought that. Well, no, they won't be taxiing. It's about the the wind speed, though. But obviously, you know, it is, is what it is. Obviously, the max... you got max takeoff and landing winds anyway, but... Which would be low that, so... But, yeah, it's just I'd never seen that figure before, but... So you're saying we came back from Lanzarote in just three hours, which yet to about ten years ago. Wow, that's quick. Long way to go. All the way down in Africa. 747s could go Mac decimal nine. Ooh, getting close. Yeah. Right, so we'll stick around for a bit, folks, to see if the 380 moves. Got a couple of aircraft pinging up on the ground, including a Max. Uh, heading off to Kerry with uh, e uh, sorry, um, Ryanair. <laughs> Senorita Israel girl in the chat says, Is this a dating site? <laughs> we, yeah, if you love your planes, this is the place to be. This is it. Yeah, we don't have them bots anymore, sadly. Just <laughs> <laughs> <is> a dating site. <laughs> Imagine going to Google and typing dating site in an airline is live from Manchester pops up. <laughs> go on, then we'll try it. Give that a go. We'll give it a go. I've been getting loads of like bots and stuff on um, like. Um, Instagram and stuff, you know, um, not just dating site things, but like... What, sending messages to the page and that? Yeah, or my personal or whatever, like, usually also with, like, some nefarious, like, scam towards it as well, you know, like... Yeah. Jen, what was it Jen got the other day that was funny? Um, yeah, it was... So she got an email that was that was made to look like UPS... Hmm. But when you looked at the logo, the logo said IPS. <laughs> what? I was like, what? That is the worst is... scam I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> IPS on the logo. Oh, the only one. But all the same colours and everything. Saying, we need your details to uh, deliver your parcel. <laughs> so like, oh, that's funny. I said, what do you need me credit card for? <laughs> you only deliver the parcel. <laughs> IPS. IPS. Yeah, there was a, a period of time where you get loads, you know, like PayPal and stuff like that was the worst. Or like yeah. Amazon. The PayPal ones were difficult to spot. I remember when I first started working in, um, I don't know, they said the name then, but in the company we used to work for, 
And um, yeah, there are a couple of PayPal ones that nearly got me because mm. the PayPal ones are difficult to clock. But um, we've been getting some uh, Facebook ones um, through Airliners Live because obviously, as Airliners Live, we we get some revenue from Facebook for the videos we put up and stuff, and uh, we get messages which are designed saying that if you don't do this within this period of time, they're going to um, close the Facebook account down and this, that, the other. And it looks really genuine, guys. You've got to be careful. So what I recommend is um, when you get one of those emails, at the top it says sent from, and they've worked out a way to basically put a name in there. So it'll say sent from Facebook. Yep. But if you actually click where it says Facebook, it'll show you the email address. And nine times out of ten, it's not going to be a Facebook email address. It's going to be like some numbers and letters, like a really weird email email address. Um, so make sure, guys, if you get an email and it says it's from a company, and, and you know on your phone where it shows you who the emails come from, and it'll say Sophology or Facebook or Curries or whatever, just make sure you double-click that little name there and just see exactly what email it's actually come from because... There's a lot of that going around at the minute. We've been getting tons of them. Yep. Absolutely tons of them. This screen's just got really dim all of a sudden. I don't know why. Well, oh, really? Yeah, I've never seen that before. Even, even if you've tapped it? Yeah. This, um, messing with the settings, it's just not weird. Anyway, it's kind of just easy check going out. Let's wait to Marrakesh. Mark's favourite, the A319. Oh, yes. Flying sports car. Katie, no, we we spoke about that at the beginning of the stream. We've had a refund, Katie, and we've ordered a couple of sofas from IKEA, which are coming. Um, they come in uh, Friday. But yeah, the um, I say a couple of sofas. I'm not being greedy. We ordered <laughs> we ordered a corner sofa with Sophology. So instead of getting another corner sofa, we've just gone for a three and a two. But yeah. That is what it is. Too many, too many red flags for us. I think. Yeah. It's hard to trust the company after that, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, John. Will Will Jen actually, um, without going into too much detail, um, she got her identity stolen, and um, yeah, they. Uh, they managed to sign up for a couple of credit cards, guys, and uh, spent about 14 grand. Um, so you got to be really careful. you got to be making sure you keep... Because the problem was, and this was what surprised me with, with Jens, is one of the companies who um, sent one of these letters, like I won't go into too much detail, but they, um, they're they a very sort of high-profile company, Right. You can probably imagine who I'm talking about. They're not accepted in many places. And um, the letter that they sent was on the world's worst paper I've ever seen in my life. Like, worse than the paper you'd give your kid to draw on. You know when you get your kid a <laughs> Trace sketchbook? Trace of paper. Oh, well, yeah. not that bad, but you know you get your kid a sketchbook and it's always like the worst paper. Mm, yeah. The paper that they sent this letter on to Jen was like that. And I said, Jen, I said, that's a scam, that. I said, look at the paper. I said, there's no way this company would be sending letters out like that. I said, just throw it in the bin. And we just assumed it was a scam. And then um, literally a month or so later, she got another couple. So she went on, um, what's that website? Where you check your scores and that. And... Um, yeah, when she when she checked that, checked that website out, she, they took out a couple of credit cards and spent fourteen grand. And what they'd done is they they'd got the credit cards posted out to our house and managed to 
they'd managed to because because of the way our post boxes are, they'd managed to get in it from the outside, and on two separate occasions, obviously take the card and take the pin number. That's ridiculous. Can you believe that? Mad that, isn't it? Yeah. Insane. But what's even worse is, Jen rang them up, and she said, "This isn't me. Like I've not signed up for this." And he said, "Oh well, you've you've it's come to your house." And she's like, "No, it's not me." She said, "I've not signed up for him." And they went, all right, no worries, um, we'll cancel it. And they just wiped 14 grand like that. Wow. No, like literally two or three questions and they just wiped it. And um, Jen was that concerned with how easy it was to wipe off 14 grand that she phoned him back again. Right. Just to say, speak to another person and say, look, I'm, I'm just letting you know it wasn't me, but I'm just making sure like we've done everything the right way, right? Because it seemed a bit too easy to... Just, like, if you were one of them people who was on the blag, you know, and all you had to do was say it wasn't you, and that was it. <laughs> like, yep. They didn't ask her anything. But, wow. um, yeah, the second person, I think, was a bit more thorough and kind of went through a lot of things. And she had to do that multiple different times as well? Different yeah, times. so she had to basically... They signed up for so many that she had to contact all these banks to let them know that wow. her identity, it really got to her, and it took a lot of time as well, because you're on hold for a long time with these people, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Well, I think she's managed to get it sorted now, but you have to basically put your details into... So if it ever happens to you guys, um, Jen's probably best, but you, you speak to um, Experian and they'll put you through to a couple of different people and basically they put your details into a database where if someone tries taking out a credit card after your details have been put on that, they ring you up and they say... Are you applying for this? And then obviously, if it's not you, you say no. It's it's not me. Um, so they kind of look after you. And Experian, I think, were really good, really helpful with that. So the 380 looks like it's kind of almost ready to go. Yeah. Um, which is a good sign. So we'll just stick around and see if it's going to be much longer. It'd be nice to end the show on the departure of this. Um, the wind is still pretty gusty here, although not too windy. Um, definitely not windy enough to put windy in the title, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but um, no, this is going to depart hopefully soon. Uh, it was due out, um, I mean, to be fair, only 15 minutes ago. So uh, it's not running massively late yet. Tasker saying, because of a data breach at Emma Mattress, my mate had someone spend over a grand on Just Eats in over a year. His bank never thought to ask why he'd spend 75 quid on pizzas in one night. I mean, I, mean, I suppose if it was... you you got a party or something. I mean, the thing is, if he was... get If the Just Eats was in the area of where he lived... Yeah. Then the bank probably wouldn't wouldn't check, would they, I suppose? I had uh, something <clears> similar <throat> where my car got broken into because the card was on show. Because I used to live in quite a, a rough area. And... Um, I'd left my bank card in the footwell of the car. It, like, it must have fell out of my pocket or something. And um, some someone passed by, seen it. They broke the window, put the hand in, taking it. And I, I was obviously asleep because this happened overnight. I got woken up in the morning by my bank ringing me at like 6 a.m. Saying, hi, uh, we've just uh, put your card on hold because um, we found something suspicious. And what happened is someone had walked past, obviously broke into the car, stole it, um, and went straight to an off-license Really? I tried to spend, like, exactly... This was when the limit was, like, 30 quid for uh, contactless. Exactly 30 quid worth of alcohol. And then it failed. And then tried again with, like, 20 quid, and that failed. Uh, and the bank actually realised before me that my card had been stolen. So they actually cancelled it. Um, and the, the person never actually got to spend a penny of my money. Nice. Um, and, and as a result, I didn't even know what they were on about. I was like, why, why have you cancelled my card? Like, it's not me. Like, I, I, I used it last night. But not like 5 a.m. And, uh, and then I walked down and seen the car. <laughs> Had a missing window. <laughs> Did you see that while you were on the phone to as well? No, I, uh, well, I, I lived in a flat at the time. So it was like, you know, I had to like put the phone down and walk down the stairs. Because I kind of I was looking around for the car. I was like, I found a wallet, but there's no card in there. 
I was like, oh no, someone's probably had it, probably left it in a shop or something. Yeah. And then I walked down and seen the the the, the, the car with the missing window. And it was funny because uh, the car was parked in front of a house opposite, and um, it was a, it was like the parking for the flats were in front of this house, and this house had been recently vacated uh, by the tenants there, and someone came over to do a viewing. <laughs> And there's me like shoveling glass off the floor, <laughs> and my windows had smashed. And the estate these... agent turns up going on here in this lovely area. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> I was like, hi guys. Yep. Yeah, so I would have just gone, no, you know what? Never mind. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not even going to show you around, guys. The, oh. amount, the amount of people who stopped, though, you know, like being nosy, asking questions, like, guys, just leave me alone. I'm trying to, like, shovel glass off the floor here. Like, is that your glass? Yeah, it's like, oh, what's happened? What are, oh, do you know who it was? Like, oh, I dropped me some help. It's like, no, just, just go away. Every, <laughs> everyone's stopping. And that's nice, though. At least it's, people stop. It's nice, but I think they were just being nosy. You know, they were just like, yeah, 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 like, yeah. You, like guys. <laughs> Phil Sellers, welcome back for 16 months. Business class member saying, afternoon, guys. Welcome, dude. Hope you're doing well, Phil. Thanks for the support. Afternoon, Phil. Hope you had a happy new year. Yeah, me and Feza both having no look of windows. I mean, all stream doesn't have much luck with Windows. You've seen our, our PC's condition. <laughs> <laughs> and Jenny Watts, welcome back. 21 months jump seat member. Proud to support the Airliners Live family. And as per usual, thank you very much, Jenny, for being the very first person to place an order on the new website. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's always Jenny. Yeah. You're always Jenny getting the merch. I think Jenny's got probably the most merch in the world. She's a legend. Thank you very much for that. Yeah, I think uh, Scappy saying um, 28 minutes past for the 380. So, yeah, I think, um, in fact, I think I've just seen the uh, jet bridge detach. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, look, it's it's detached. It's 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 actually moving. So the uh, all the jet bridges are disconnected. There's no slide coming out of the 380 this time, which is good. <laughs> Doors to disarm, cross check, and all that. Yeah, three eighties late as usual. It's not not a not a big eye opener. Hope you've all enjoyed today's stream, though, guys. Really, really do appreciate everyone tuning in. It's been an awesome show. First show back for twenty twenty three. We're going to be back again on Sunday for the Super Sunday show. Fazza, is that window still like that then? They've been messing him about. I think with that. That's nuts. I suppose it's not like his house, so to speak. But that's still mad. Yeah, Malk, yeah, you got to watch out for them, mate. Watch out for those ones. Yeah, those videos on YouTube are funny, aren't they, where they, uh, they ring up the scammers. Yeah. And they get them. They get them going nuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't spend the gift card. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to just play really dumb to them, don't you? To wind yeah. them up. Lined up on the runway is a 737. Heading out to uh, Grand Canaria. No there slide. Go. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit tragic what happened to the 380 the other week. With the slide. We probably would have got a good view of it from here, wouldn't we? Yeah. Imagine seeing that happen, like, live. With Zoom. Like, oh, what on earth just happened? <laughs> Thankfully, no one was hurt, but it still looked ridiculous. Oh, 380's so on the push. Nice. The, oh, the... who's this? Oh, he's gone. Oh, camera shy. <clears throat> G pi, G pi. Yeah. Yeah, it's a very beautiful airport. This because you've got not only really good views of the airfield, but you've got all the surrounding moors, like the hills that that roll around the uh, the surrounding areas. Uh, very, very pretty part of the world. And in, like, the winter, uh, it would be quite frequent to see, like, snow on the top of them as well, which does look great. 
So the A3 AC is getting pushed back at the moment. What happens is it gets pushed back quite a bit and then pulled forwards. And you usually see the nose sticking back out of that, uh, the big white elephant building, the Premier Terminal. It was an easy jet on the move as well. What looks like a... Um, Uh, not a Neo, sorry. And it's the rude EasyJet again. Foxtrot uniform. <laughs> nice joke. <laughs> Flemo's in the chat. Yo, yo, yo. Good afternoon to you, dude. How's the flying going, Flemo? Yeah, how's he been getting on? He's been... I don't know, he never invites us, does he, John? Is he on DCS as well? Yeah, always in DCS. Every time he's on Discord, he's on DCS. <laughs> never get an invite, do we, John Boy? Oh, what a shame. Is he flying yeah, for, like, the virtual reds or something? You know who your friends are, don't you? <laughs> All right, we'll see the 380 sticking its nose back out now. There he is, the king of the skies, making its presence known. How's the module coming along? Which module? Hmm. Which module? The pork pie module. Maybe, maybe radar box. Oh yeah. Radar boxes. We're just waiting for our PC to. Uh, I mean, the PC's in the office, getting sorted out at the minute. But it would just have been a bit too much of a rush to have it ready for today. Yeah. So we're uh, going to bring it back on the midweek next week, I think. Gives us plenty of time to just get it finalised and sorted out. Mm. Yeah, I saw you was playing Euro Chuck as well, yeah. Oh, that's a great game. A great sim, rather. I love the American Chuck. American Chuck, is it? Yeah, that's really good. Have they got the whole of the US in it yet, or is it still like... <laughs> last time, when, I, when I looked, it was only like five states or something. Oh, the model. Sorry, the model. Yeah, the model. Um, so my dad got me a um, an A380 British Airways model. Oh, nice. You know, like a um, one that you put together yourself. Oh, yeah. And I'm still painting it. It's massive. Oh, you paint it? Whoa. So I've, rather than taking all the pieces off and trying to paint it once you've put it all together, they were saying online that you're best to paint it on the board before you take the pieces off and then just touch it up after. Yeah. And, mate, there's a lot to paint. Lots of paint. <laughs> we did the wheels the other day, so they've been drying. And uh, hopefully get to start putting it together in the next couple of days. What um, scale is it? I don't know, but it's big. Like 1, 200, are we talking? I'd or? say, yeah, even maybe slightly bigger, you know. Oh, wow. Old EasyJet A319 heading out to Hamburg. And the A380 has been pushed back. And we'll be wrapping the show on that departure for the first time in 2023. Um, quick yay or nay in the chat. Are you loving the 4K, guys? Is it a nice improvement? Was it worth the upgrade? Let us know. I'm sure it was. We we uh, we're really happy with it. All the teams really happy with it. Mm. Only got 165 pieces. Yeah, you got to paint every single one. Of them. Gosh. <laughs> hey, that could be a nice behind the scenes stream. That mate, it's uh, one of those where I'm taking a few each each day. You know, with the uh, I've got a tray. I've took one of the trays out of the kitchen and I'm just going along, just painting a little bit, letting it dry, painting yeah. a bit, chilling. You've got a balsa wood one, but you grand someone out, he says, Ian. Mate, I bet that'll be decent. You get that for Christmas. 
I don't think, guys, we're going to have Vancouver tomorrow, no. I don't think so. No. We need to speak... In all honesty, guys, I'll be completely honest with you, we've not spoke to Henry since the new uh, since the new year. Because the last message we got was that he was just spending time with his family and um, still mourning, obviously, the loss of his dad. So we didn't really want to just go, oh, mate, uh, well, do you know roughly when you might be streaming? Because mm. <laughs> obviously that's just completely not the right thing to do. So um, Henry will reach out to us when he's ready to stream, guys, and that's the way we're going to let that happen, I think. Because it affects everybody differently, doesn't it? Like, when ov obviously he's lost his dad, I think he was quite close with his dad as well. And, um, yeah, it can affect everyone differently. Some people may want to get back into work, get a head into it, get cracking. Other people might want to just take the time and, you know, just uh, get over it that way. So you can't, can't rush people with that sort of thing. You just have to let them do it their own way, I think. Uh, David Ashworth, welcome back for five months. Business class member saying, watching in 4K and could see that EasyJet front wheel spinning. Nice. Nice. That's amazing. 380 is going to start its taxi in a moment, which is good. Oh, look at it. See that. Nice. Give it a little burst of throttle and then uh, get all the spray coming up then that's pretty cool Ryanair Max touching down here at Manchester it's one of the Manchester based ones EI Hev a little bit higher on the nose gear as well the Maxes accommodate for the slightly larger engines. Turkish A330 just took some of our new tiles off heading your way. Whoa. Oh, no I. Oh, is that is that coming in, is it? It is, yeah. It's uh, it's it's just finishing its base leg turning onto the approach now. Nice. So we'll see that arrive. Me and Jen went for a walk in a place called uh, Tint Whistle, I think. Up oh. in, uh, where was it? And what's the place called? Up oh, past Staley Bridge, anyway. And um, man, the planes there—they were only—they were at five thousand feet, but I think because we were so high, mm. it was—they um, were so loud coming over the top. It was like you were at the airport, mm. and they were just making the turn in, you know, to uh, make the approach. Oh, that sounds awesome! I'd love to go there. But Do it was—it was, uh, was cloudy, so you couldn't see them. You could just hear them. Imagine doing a stream from there, watching them go all the way in. <laughs> well, I thought about that a couple of times. Where there's, because um, there was a place where me and Jen went, um, and from the top of the hill there, you could literally see them coming across, turning in, and coming all the way. Obviously, it's heat haze central. Yeah, but you can follow them the whole way in. Wow. Um, but obviously, you're literally in the middle of nowhere, on top of a massive hill yeah you're not you're not anywhere near anything at that point let me yeah. get a photo of this I wonder what the signal would be like as well Emirates A380 heading back to Dubai king of the skies of course let's get the remotes in the chat in 4k as well love to see it Taxiing down to the start of 2-3 right. We should see the Turkish Airlines A330 coming in as well before we wrap the show up today. I hope you've enjoyed the first Manchester live show uh, of the year here on Airliners Live. Thank you to all who have uh, stuck around to watch um, the full show. And uh, we certainly missed you guys on our little break from the live shows. Well worth the wait, though. Ice to the sky. I'm looking out for the 330. I can see something in the sky. I can see some lights. Young wizard saying an, an engineering marvel. It is indeed. And there's the king emotes and the 4K emotes in the chat. I 
Well, counting down the days till the TAS Fair, of course, the TAS Aviation Memorabilia Fair here at the Runway Visitor Park in Manchester on the 25th of February. Bear in mind, the uh, event actually runs the whole weekend, Saturday and Sunday, but we just do the Saturday because the Sunday we do a live show. And uh, we're not like... Um, there's a lot of sort of proper shops there. We are just selling some merch and using it as a community meetup, so we don't need the two days anyway. Can we see the 330 in the sky yet? I can't see it yet. <clears throat> no, I can't see it either. Not with my own eyes. It's a long way out yet, Andy. It's still... It's not even established yet. Oh, right, okay. It's about 20 miles away from him. And Loopy's saying that he wants... Well, he'll be going to the fair as well. That'd be nice. awesome. Awesome to meet you, dude. Finally. Cheers, Malcolm. Appreciate it. It's good to be back. Really enjoyed it today. Yeah, it's been a nice, nice chill midweek show. I think coming back on a Super Sunday show would have been not the same experience, I think. Oh, yeah. Ease back in with a nice midweek. Yeah. But uh, this Sunday, guys, as I said earlier on, we're um, trying to just make sure 100% that this PC is fixed before we introduce it back into a Super Sunday show because, um, yeah, it was causing us some issues. For those of you who know uh, there was a memory leak um, on it and um, it was uh, meaning we were kind of losing the stream every couple of hours so we want to make sure that's completely fixed before we uh, bring that back for multicam and stuff like that so this Sunday's show will be uh, more of a basic show as we've done today with the camera feed and uh, the audio but there's not going to be a multicam set up um, and then hopefully next Wednesday the um, multicam should return, guys, as long as the PC's fixed. We've literally left it on for hours, and it's not doing it now. So we're pretty confident it's fixed, but we just want to make 100% sure, that's all. Hype. And tomorrow morning, I will be filming some movements, potentially. So uh, there's a chance I might just bring the stream gear with me and do a little live stream nice. in the morning. Some, maybe what sunrise. time are you thinking? Um, I want to get to just the early morning stuff. So as soon as, I mean, the sunrise these days, what, like half eight, maybe eight? Yeah. So maybe start around then. Um, I mainly want to just get the little heavies that come out. You know, so you've got um, Qatar. Um, usually have, like, uh, Etihad going out that time of morning as well. And I might stick around till, like, the 380. But, like, for example, this morning, we see the 380 go out on runway two. And I feel like if I the, the time the one time I wait for that morning one, I feel like it'll go out on runway one. Yeah, because <laughs> it'll be that late. But who knows? We'll just see, see how it goes. See how it goes. Yeah, no stress. And I'll be making sure tomorrow my sole focus is shipping all of the outstanding merch. I shipped some yesterday, and uh, we've received a big box at home full of all the outstanding orders, which is great. So we'll be getting those shipped out. So you guys should start to receive your orders um, in the next couple of days. A massive thanks to everyone, by the way. You place merch orders. Really does support the channel a lot, guys. And obviously you get something back in return as well by uh, having some of the merch. But look at this. The sun's coming out just in time. Here we go. 380. Crank it up for this. Let's get a picture, shall we?
That was awesome. Got a nice rotation shot of that one. Oh, delivery. No, I missed it, man. I missed yeah. <laughs> Scandinavian oh, Neo no. on the taxi out. Never mind. Never mind. That'll do. Mega, ladies and gents, thank you so much for an awesome, awesome stream. We had some support coming in as well from Jonathan Coran sending in a £1 super chat. Thank you, dude. Really does help us a lot. Thank you very much, mate. And uh, Jack Rolls, thank you very much for coming back for three months of Airliners Live membership as well, saying good afternoon all. Hope you're all very well. Thank you very much, Jack. Welcome back, Jack. Hope you're doing well as well. Um, but ladies and gents, that's going to wrap up the midweek show today. Yeah, we'll catch this Turkish coming in. Oh, good shout, good yeah. shout. We do have a Turkish coming in. I completely forgot about that. Turkish Airlines A33300 coming back from Istanbul today. We've seen one of these earlier in the show. Um, <clears throat> departing. Maybe for a early exit as well for the aircraft. You can see a bit of a crab going on, though. Crabbing to the aircraft's right. As there is a little bit of a crosswind today. But it's pretty gusty. A lot of you guys in the chat loving that A380 departure. I'm so hyped to get home and watch this watch back. Watch it back. Yeah, I've just took a nice picture of it as well, so... Sweet. Get that edited, and... Uh, we What we're gonna, what I was saying earlier on, because I didn't quite finish, is um, for 2023, at least for the next couple of months, we may change our mind, guys. We're going to try and narrow down everything a little bit, because I feel like we kind of spread out a bit thin at the minute. So what we're going to be doing is focusing on um, Instagram and YouTube. Now, Instagram automatically posts it to Facebook for us, so we don't have to worry about that. So if you want to keep on top of our photography, see what we're doing, have a look on Instagram. We'll try and uh, use Instagram mainly for the pictures. And we also post the pictures to YouTube as well. So make sure you get used to being on YouTube and looking for that community tab. When you go to the Airliners Live channel, there'll be a tab at the top called Community, and that's where you'll see all of our posts, our updates, and if we post any members-only updates, they will be there as well, guys. So if you don't know where that is, ask in the VIP lounge. We will show you guys because it's uh, something we re really want to start using properly. Oh, he's breaking. Oh, I scared him. <laughs> I scared him. Sorry, mate. There hey, Chris, thank you very much for tuning in, Chris Marriott. Listen, uh, Chris, on Wednesdays, I'm not putting you on the spot. Absolutely no pressure whatsoever, mate. But Wednesdays are the shows where we um, have any guests on. So if you would like to come on the show, you are more than welcome um, please feel free to drop us a message contact at airlinerslive.com is the email or you can find me on LinkedIn as well just search for Martin Langren on LinkedIn or Insta works as well and Insta messages um, or if uh, you don't want to come on the show but we're going to catch you on stream uh, drop us a little message as well and uh, I mean it's very rare on Airliners Live that we don't focus on the A380 but um, <laughs> at least we know you're coming and we can make sure we uh we catch it for you, mate. So, uh, and please feel free to let any other pilots that you may work with know that if they want us to feature them, just drop us a message. We're more than happy to do it. Yep. And, uh, yeah, we love interacting with the pilots here on the channel. It's our local airport, and you guys are the guys who provide the content for us. So thanks very much for tuning in today. As, uh, and you're tuning in at the right time because uh, today is the first 4K stream on Airliners Live. Yep. New Year's resolution is in full swing. Really glad it's all come together, man. It's just all working nicely, you know. And that would have been the first 380 that we caught in 4K uh, live. I know yeah. we caught one in on the VIP stream when we did the test, but 
This is the first public show where we caught one. And as we end today's show on this Turkish Airlines A330 coming in to end what has been a fantastic show opening up the 2023 year on Airliners Live here on the midweek show. This Sunday is the first Sunday show as well, so tune into that. Um, and potentially a bonus show tomorrow morning from about 8 a.m. Um, just wait for a confirmation on that because uh, that will be purely impromptu bonus, all that stuff as well. Uh, no Henry tomorrow. Um, and um, yeah, by, back on Sunday as well. New tune for 2023. It might not. It might not see me. Might stay. We have got the other one still. A lot of you guys love the other one. I like this one. I like this one. We we need a change, don't we, guys? We need a new tune for 2023, don't we? Like I say, this is a contender. I'm not saying it's the final one. Yeah. We still need to have a bit of a browse, but we're happy with this for now. We're happy with it. Oh, you guys like it as well. Thank you all for tuning in on the first midweek show of 2023. We've been Airliners Live. You guys have been absolutely fantastic. And we will see you all on the Super Sunday show on Sunday at 10 a.m. See you there, guys. Take care. And to half an hour. See you.